what are do you believe is the positive traits of each other that'll help us survive? Oh, there's gonna help me from killing myself, but I might lose my mind out there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm more support. I'm more support. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm what is my mind? I'm more support. I'm gonna fuck around and be like, man, I'm not feeling it today, but I think we should end it. Usually, gonna be like, go ahead and dig it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that. I would right not now. see. Look at <laughs> look like, how he trying to portray me on like, shit. I don't need that right now, bro. You just acting fucking weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> look how he tried to portray me on this hair right now, bro. <laughs> That's what he would do. I promise. Yo. Bro. Don't say it yet, bro. I gotta, I gotta bring it up. It's gonna, it's gonna flow into it. Nicholas Cage. That's I love ass. I love, <laughs> I love what he does. That's ass. Not Nicholas Cage. Quentin but. Tarantino. Who is that? Bro, we about to do it, bro. Don't even. Not don't fun. do it. Yeah, Yo, you want to say the intro, bro? You haven't been in a minute. Um, go ahead, brother. What's going on, guys? I see. You. Well, on the TikTok, what do we at? Three thirty right now. Three thirty K on 375. TikTok. Three seventy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no oh, try not to try yeah, not to stop because that shit gonna shake the shit. Awful, no, you straight. Awful, awful. Um, 375 by the way. 375 on TikTok. Uh social media is blowing up. We see you in the comments. Don't worry, we see you. Forgive give us more suggestions. Um we're different. You're shorter regular and we're gangster. I go. <laughs> Welcome to episode number 80 of No Records Podcast, hosted by your Chili DW and my co-host, if you haven't already. We got Jay and UJ here. So we got a great pod for y'all today. And it's good to be back. I'm not gonna lie. So you find your oh, I think you found your white people. Oh it was Chris. The, it was Chris. It was Chris. Oh, uh, yeah. I gotta do my intro, man. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh wait, talk is moving up. Move on, up there. I was like, what's up with this guy? I can't change because Jason is here. Uh, um. I have to say mine too. I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah. What's, yeah, going, yeah. what's going on, people? It's the one and only the chosen. You know what I'm saying? The chosen one, the only one. I'm back in another episode of No Regulars. And on my left, I have the one and the only, the Oracle, the one who gets it started, the one who gets it done. A.K.A. Ifatunde, A.K.A. Darius Watkins. And on my right, it's the first time we've been put together, you know what I'm saying? That's my brother, you know what I'm saying? They call him J.R. They call him J-Nasty. If you know why, you know why. You know what I'm saying? But we're here in the building. And we're here. We're going to get it started. And we're going to get it right. Let's do it, man. All right, my fault. Uh, first things first, Fritz. <laughs> Got it out the way. Does he even check the comments anymore? <laughs> no, he don't even comment no more. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, UJ yeah. don't watch it. He don't know this one. The second one. Fuck UJ. I, I do know that. That's when I stopped watching your, your episode. <laughs> he, he told me literally. I stopped what, watching it. Anytime I see you, I don't watch it. Just because he thinks I say it's fuck It's my UJ. intro. So this episode, I'm in it, and I'm not watching it. <laughs> <laughs> this you are. Oh, man. Now, I've been recording a pod in a minute because I've been in Florida last week, bro. And I want to talk about this, bro, because a lot of people say Jersey's really bad. But Florida is. Ter- Did you ever try the water in Florida, bro? Um, I like, didn't think about trying about no tap Florida. water. No, I mean like like you know when you go to the store, like yo, can I, they be like, oh, do you want water? Like you know they give you like, the water oh, in the cup, like, like a, a restaurant. restaurant. Yeah, yeah, the restaurant. No. That shit is terrible. We, to, we didn't. Uh, we didn't go to no restaurants. We went to fast food. We yeah, I know we did go to fast food. Yeah, yeah, bro, the water literally tastes like somebody like taking a shit and like not scooping up the shit, but like like scooping up the water around it. Like it's so bad, bro. I mean, by That's descriptive. the the numbers, you know, the stats. Jersey's dirtier. Nah, it is dirtier <laughs> yeah, well, by the stats, but by it's because it's because yeah. Florida is just so spacious. Because mm-hmm. they're like, there's like everything's like forty minutes away, and there's like what? hella woods and shit like that. For real? Yeah, I didn't think Florida had that. Isn't it like swamps? Yeah, it's, it's swamps and woods, oh. depending on where you go. If you go more south, that's where the swamps is at. If you we were we were in Orlando, so that's like it's like wooded swamps. I seen an alligator like a that shit was like For real? that shit was big as fuck. Where we was driving yeah. to, I forgot where we was driving, <laughs> but it wasn't by us. It was like they have like in Florida they have like little lakes. Oh, like everywhere, just like random ponds, and there was like a big one. That shit was like six feet long, bro. Just letting it, they, they it just was, let it out there. Yeah, he was just chilling because that's like it's the it's his habitat, I guess. Bugging, bro. As long as that shit don't touch people, <laughs> bro. But mm. yeah, bro, it was kind of fun though. I, did you did you like you ain't trying to get close to that though? Nah, it, we was in the car. Oh. I would have though. Nah, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging, I'm bugging. Nah, Jay's mom, she asked me, she was like, she was like, for for a million dollars, if there's if there's alligators in that like little pond, would you jump in and like swim across? I was like, yeah, I'll swim across that shit. It's you, not you know how fast they move? I know, but I feel like say, do you think like they're not gonna move as fast as you? No, I don't think that, but I just feel like I could like evade them. You're Um I think I could scare them. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're agitated. I hope you know they attack hippos. They don't care about a regular black man. 
not a regular black man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are to them. You just, <laughs> them you are. You just yeah, said well, that nigga. You just threw a lot for that nigga, bro. Yeah, that was crazy, man. But, I didn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> But we got a good episode for y'all today. But to start out the episode, you guys want to play a game? I love games. I actually have a game for you as well. You want to play your game first or you want to play it last? Uh, I'll, I'll play our game first. You want to play your game, first? Play game first? All right, I'll play yeah. my game last then at the end of the show. Uh, Go ahead. Now, mm-hmm. you guys are, you know, from New Jersey. I am. You know what I'm saying? You guys have so. been, how long you live in Jersey, bro? 24 years. Well, yeah, 24. How long you lived in Jersey, bro? 23. So would you say you're well-versed in... How we converse in Jersey. Yeah. I would think so. so well, you, you, first of all, you're about to pull out some crazy slang that you saw. <laughs> <laughs> like Baltimore so, but, TikTok. But you, but, no, I'm not. But you, you're not from around the way. You What's that mean? You're just not from around the New way. New York, born and raised. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you slightly from around the way. You know you, nigga. You're not from around the way. What's so that mean? He might have an advantage on you because a lot of the slang is um, urban slang. I'm from know? around the way. Slight. I was banging brim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, chill out, bro. It's, it's 12 o'clock, bro. It's 12 o'clock. It's 12 no. in the morning. <laughs> he said, I was, yo, y'all don't know. Jason all went today, bro. Yo, bro. That's the six man joke. He's stupid today. <laughs> the joke, he's been going stupid. But now, so I'm going to have you two okay. challenge each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say a word, mm-hmm. and you guys, the first person has to. Answer what that word means. Okay. Got you. Now, got you. Okay. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now I'm going to go in order. What does it mean to kick up? Oh, to like, you know, do better. Like if we're playing basketball, mm-hmm. you make like a three, you make another one, you just hit a dunk, it's kicking up. Like you're going crazy. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah, like yeah doing, there we go. So wait, are we going to go like if he answers it first? First person to answer. All right. All right so you get that one. I so get you guys one point. Yeah. I get that. Even though I knew that one anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck ass <that's> nigga. <laughs> Brick. Brick? Yeah. It's mad cold outside. Oh, that's decent. That's like it's decent, mad cold, decent. like it's brick. Now, I'm gonna call you back. No, you're not. I like that. I like that. He's going stupid right now. He's going yeah. stupid right now. <laughs> nah, you He's got that one. Right I was gonna, I was gonna say. Uh, go what was gonna say? Go, I was gonna say call back. <laughs> 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 nah, I ain't gonna lie what to you. Deed. Oh, oh like up. it's done up. Like it's like like it's over. Done up. It's over. Mm, I, who said it first? Me, but you but can get him. But you can say, you he can said him. D, like done up. That's what that's what it stands for. All it's, right, so we'll, we'll score three. No, it's, nine, it's, it's two, two one, one, so you give it to him so tired. Right, yeah. Two two now. Jail. Lie. Fuck. This thing is quick. Nah, he's going stupid, bro. <laughs> Banging GD and Lamar on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the set. Like the gang. Like you're dead serious. Mm. Damn, yeah, I was gonna shit. say that. Fuck, oh, bro. Shit. shit, bro. Trills. That I actually don't know. Damn, you said it too. Fuck. Like I guess lit. I don't know because like I know Trill Sammy. Like, I'm it's assuming he's lit Sammy. Like that's tough. Like, yeah, I could get like, uh, it was kind of used in two different ways, mm-hmm. but it, lit is kind of one of the way. Yeah. Two trill. It's lit. Styling. Style it? Oh. Oh. I actually don't know. I feel like, like I you, do. Like I you, like, like you. In context, I can understand right. it. Oh, wait, wait. Like like you, like you exaggerating it. Like you, like you, like you just. Oh, you're, you're doing, doing shit doing for the much. cameras? Are you doing. No. It's Damn. crazy. You st- nah. Wait, wait. You lying. There we go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I was thinking that. I couldn't, I like, yeah, there there we go. I couldn't get it out of my head, but I knew. Okay, there you go. So what's that? Three. It's three up. Three up? Yeah. Man, he caught up on you, man. Did. Shoot the 21. Fight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoot the 21. Oh, right. I, I just mean? wanted to see if he knew what that no, meant. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, shit. I just know shoot Four. the fade. Thought we were talking uh, about that. Uh, Wilder. <laughs> you're oh, you're going bug- crazy. You're like bugging. All right, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. Uh, we got here. We got here. Yeah, no. Like, nah. Like, hell no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, hell no. <laughs> All right, that's tough. That's tough. Uh nah yeah, that's like, sarcastic as fuck. No, that's not sarcastic. Like, nah, nah yeah, it's yeah. like yeah, I agree with you. Like yeah, nah yeah. That's like that's like if somebody bullshit you. Like nah yeah, like yeah. no, <laughs> <laughs> like nah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gassing. Oh, they're they're exaggerating something, blowing it up. Okay, 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 okay. I got 
What I got one? One more. Uh, Wilder. Oh, you said that. I said already. Yeah, oh yeah, that. London. Damn, Jason won that shit. Yeah, he... Nah, he was nah, going. I think it was. Nah, I definitely been, I think it was tied. Oh, okay. oh it's, still, yeah. it's still tied now. No, I think it was tied. I think it's tied. Let me see it. You got one more. Ebombe. E. <laughs> I was watching Black Panther on the plane, bro. Yeah, the new one. I just saw it for the first time. The really? Day. Yeah. Did you like it? Mm, I don't like the new Black Panther uh, or Iron Heart. I got one. Clip. Oh, like it's slow. Like it's like it's over for you. Like no, wait, it's, wait, it's, okay, wait, wait, wait. Two meanings. Clip. Like that shit clipped or killed, really. Clipped or clipped. Oh, like or it's clips. Like it's over or it's like like or you uh, just been clipped, killed. Yeah. Uh, actually, that has three meanings because clip could be you got shot. Yeah. Clip could mean like killed. Like um, I just clip. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm about to say. And then clip is just over. All right. So, Damn. But he did answer. Nigga, I'm on brim. Big <laughs> L. Hey, people, I ain't from Jersey. If you want to pull up Jersey, say that shit. No, Free say White that Dove. Shit. Sweet. Yeah, no. Free who? White Dove. Who that? Larry's brother. I think. I don't even remember his who name. Who the fuck? I don't know, bro. What, Larry Hoover? Some white kid in school. Had an older brother that game painting called White Dove. Who the fuck is Larry? Damn. Larry Hoover? My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of white people, bro. All right. Best song written by a Caucasian. Real quick. Is this Prejudice? What? Talking about it? No. Yeah. Not really. I close my... Because if you oh. ask somebody, what's the best hip-hop or rap song? I was going to say what's... Black I'm going to say Eminem. Come okay, on, what man. if I what if I say what's the best song that's not R and B and hip hop? Okay, I got you. Where it could be. Well, okay, I got song. you. What was it the best uh, Caucasian artist? Philly in the year. Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. No, the song. Yeah. Song. It's, it's Philly in the year. I don't think no song is. Hmm? Philly not gonna lie. Philly in the year. Is that the one where it's like in the, that was in two K? Wait, sing, yeah. sing it real quick. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Nah, I can feel it. That shit is old. I don't care who you are. Biggest by Judge Me. That Miley Cyrus song with the the climb, the shit, climb. Bro. I that was, that was the only that song I let you jack. That is he. That shit, but bro, make me want. I think I could do anything. Big time rush goes crazy as well. It's but OD. Okay, what's your? No, nah, there's only one Spanish nigga in Big Time Rush. Come it's on, Carlos. Carlos wasn't the only Spanish one. They all they were Puerto Rican. The or nigga name is Carlos. Nah, they they there was like if there was something else, it'd be like Portuguese or some shit. Yeah. But they they was white, bro. All right, what's the best Big Time Rush song? Worldwide. Come on, man. Anyway, oh, what was that one where it's like, think about your girlfriend? Uh, it was you, worldwide man. because if yeah. you watch the show, the, that the drama behind it, it hit. Nah, that when she hit left, it. bro. Oh, when <laughs> the nigga was singing the plane flew the... out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Nah, I felt, I felt like she left me. Nah, I was so sad, bro. I was hurt, bro. Nah, the, the one that's the low key, the one when they did with uh, Jordan Sparks. Oh, counting on you. Or count on you. Yeah, bro, I ain't gonna need a lie, bro. I had the tape, the CD. I'm sorry we didn't bring you, bro. I didn't know, bro. I had the CD. Like my mom had bought. Uh, <laughs> That's tough. She just bought it. Like she just, oh yeah, I watched this show, this TV show, and just bought the CD. Wow. I had a CD player, and niggas was. You know, that you know, shit every day. you know when they be in the show, and they have like they be having the the CDs in the show, like you mm-hmm. bought one of them. Shit yeah, it, was a, it was a TV soundtrack. Wow. That's right. But they actually had an actual, like, they was real musicians for, I know. because of the show, though. That's what I'm saying. Bruh, so, I'm sorry we didn't invite you to the fucking Big yeah, Time Rush card. That shit was so I would have been bro. that motherfucker me mugging, though, like, nigga, wanna be famous. Bro, they was, it was all in the crowd and shit, but I was, I was like, damn, bro, come oh, close to me. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had a me mug, though. I would have had to be gangster and watch it, though. You had to be gangster? I couldn't smile too much because it's Big Time Rush. I didn't I want to, be, bro. I'd be cheesing. Nah, I can't. But I'm I telling was, you, I, I was bro. going in there. I wasn't expecting it, bro. I was like, I, I felt like you had to do it. Or you was just like, you wasn't in there for real. Nah, I got to be, I'm me. You got to be you. So I can't be, I can't be like smiling too much in there. I get you, I get you. They're bugging. Oh, man. I'm cheesing. Look at that Carlos with a helmet on. Nah, I'm, I ain't going <laughs> to front. Have, I ain't he front, didn't have the helmet on. Carlos. He didn't. I ain't going to front. I might start off like that, but then if they play a banger, I might have bro, to sing along, bro. they be playing some bro. heat, bro. Yeah, I'm to telling you, once the heat start playing, you just want to jump right like, I didn't want to do it. I didn't think I was gonna do it, but then I was. Yes, there. sir. That shit was tough, bro. You be, do you be going to concerts and shit? Uh, I've been to a couple because uh, you know my girlfriend brought me. I've been to Tyler the Creator and Rex, and then uh, yeah, that's about Listen it. Honestly, Tyler? huh? Listen, to Tyler the Creator. Yeah, of course I do. I like his old stuff though. Well, oh, his okay. new stuff was really really good. I like how he expanded, but wow. Wait, what was the what was the stuff? concert at? Uh, New York. Both were in New York. Oh, okay, that's yeah. tough. 
That's tough. But all right, I got another question for y'all, right? Top three Caucasians ever. Best three Caucasians in anything. Sports, film, music. They just gotta be Caucasian. Quentin Tarantino. Abe Lincoln. Wait, and um <laughs> Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Abe Lincoln's too. And uh damn. To you, not the world. Steve Nash. Steve Nash is African. But he is he's Caucasian. South, he's is South, he South really? African. Yeah, South African. That's yeah, wild. He is Caucasian. But we do claim him as Africans. We claim all of us. We um, got? My favorite three is Undertaker. Oh, fuck. Tony Hawk. And... <laughs> Wait, why Why are they? Why are those two your favorite? Because they, I mean, they're people legends. That, and I ain't gonna lie. It's two people that inspired me when I was a kid. Really? Like heavily. They're both like, like legends of the craft. When you're when you're a child, like you really don't see race, you don't see color. Yeah, that's true. Like before, like yeah, you know I'm black, or you know I'm African, but you don't see how important it is to the world, or how drastic people take it, or how serious it is at all. That's true. You just see this figure, like a whole bunch of wrestlers I looked up to, looking at Shawn Michaels, Triple H with long hair, long. Caucasian straight hair. Like, <laughs> I didn't care. Like that didn't mean nothing to me. That's tough. Now nah, Undertaker's tough though. Undertaker's the Def best at what he did. Like that's one of the few people if I meet, like I would want to talk to. Really? Like most niggas, I'm like, good. That's keep a big pushing. ass dude, bro. That nigga like six ten, mm-hmm. bro. Biggest fuck. Uh, I, I need a third one though. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Hmm, I want to say Ric Flair, but. Ric Flair's tough. Ric Flair's cool. It ain't really Ric Flair, but Undertaker and Tony Hawk is like that's that's like hundred thousand percent. Like I, I would you. love to meet Tony Hawk. Mm. How old is he? To. He he's pushing sixty, right? Pushing sixty now. Oh, yeah. fuck. Damn, he's still skating. He's probably fifty five, maybe. Is he really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hell he's yeah. Still hitting hella clips. Oh, I thought he don't be. Sk- I thought he he stopped skating because he's too old. Mm-hmm. Nah, when he was fifty, he hit the loop to loop. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that's why I thought like, that's what crazy. I thought that's when it ended. No, he's he crazy. kept going. Hell yeah. But that's like but that's his thing. It's a yeah. sport. Like yeah, it's it like, is a sport. It's a dangerous sport. Yeah, that's his thing. Extreme sport. Mm. But that's like saying niggas is gonna stop like shooting around a basketball. Like, yeah, I get you. I get you. But some niggas do though. Larry Bird probably but, still shooting. Nah, I don't think he's shooting still. <laughs> yes, he Larry Bird got a bad bit. back, bro. <laughs> that nigga. I think he's that's crazy. The though, but at the same time, they play basketball to extreme levels every day, eight hours a day, nine hours a day. It's straight basketball. So I would get if they get old. And they don't want to play basketball mm. no more. Yeah, them niggas, they be skiing. That's fun. Mm. I feel like basketball, there's a certain level you get that won't be fun, as fun as it mm. as it used to be. You just get... Oh, T.D. Barrett. T.D. Barrett? Yeah, he's a YouTuber. Let me see what these look like. I love T.D. Barrett. Mr. Beast, Logan Paul. No, nah, I don't jack Logan Paul. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> I like, I, I rather Logan Paul than... um. I watch T.D. Barrett every day. Than, I don't uh, know how that, that one His brother. Mind. I just want to try their drinks so bad, bro. I want to try this guy so bad. This dude? Yeah. What's he talking about? He just plays Madden. <laughs> oh, really? But he's just so, like, inspirational and into, like, what he's doing. Like, he make you really believe, like, because he be playing the current, not the career mode, but, like, the My League of Madden. He's the Chris Smoove, yeah. man. <laughs> come on. Chris, come on. <laughs> Chris Smoove had me thinking he was really in the game for now. Nah, Chris Smoove is OD. <laughs> that nigga was the Chris Smoove of Madden. Actually, damn. Now, you know how I don't be writing stuff down, but I actually have some, uh, a question for y'all. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, let me give you my but, three. Then yeah, you yeah, ask yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. So, my three is Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is elite. Adam Sandler. Yo, Adam all Adam elite. Sandler's movies He's is good great, everywhere. Bro. Like, Adam Sandler could go to the hood and he's good. That's what I'm saying, bro. I see <laughs> yeah. that nigga play pickup basketball. <laughs> no, he's nice. I feel he's like, I feel like how he basketball. acts in the movie is how he acts in real life. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, Rob Deerdeck was my Rob hero. Deirdek oh, my God. Now I'm swapping my last one for Rob Deerdeck. Rob Deerdeck was my hero growing up. Oh, my God. He was honestly the reason why. I wanted to be like, I wanted to either skate or do, I wanted to He's do what so he did. He's so fucking cool, bro. He's like, so dope. My nah, skateboarding was really cool when we was young. Yeah. It was, bro. Very, MTV, like I said, bro. It, was a, it was because it was a time period where niggas did not see color and put ourselves in certain, like, boxes. When so. I was in seventh, eighth grade, no, sixth grade, I used to watch the X Games every year, bro. No, nah, I still watch the X Games. That has nothing to do with, with race. I still watch the X Games. I watch the X Games. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... But like black I used power, to, though. pro black. <laughs> yeah. I used to watch like the Fantasy Factory. I always wanted to open up that one of them shits, bro. Like I was, it's still a possibility. It's so oh, fun. Yeah. It's Don't so worry, fucking bro. cool, bro. I thought that was the sickest right. idea in the it's world, bro. Just him and a big bro. black guy named Big Black, and turn it into a Fantasy <laughs> Factory. <bro. laughs> He's one of the most innovative yeah, people of all time, bro. He is, bro. Like 
Hey. That was actually my nickname at the Marys. Big Black? They yeah, called you somebody, Big Black? Nah, somebody, one person would call me Big Black. <laughs> Damn, bro. And then my third person, it's recency. It was like, uh, Joe Rogan. I feel like Joe Rogan, uh, the, way he, the way he talks. Joe, Joe Rogan gave me a little bit of racism. He do, but I feel like. She is Joe Rogan. I love Joe Rogan. Right. I love Joe Rogan. He gave me a little bit of like, I said it I said it a couple times. Like that's what he, like I, <laughs> I say it with nobody around. Yeah, I get you, I get you. Like I might say it in a joke. Like, so I don't, I don't know. Nah, I, I just. Vibe you. I just. I like, like Dana though. What? Oh. Dana White? Dana White? He beats yeah. his wife. Does he really? Well, he slaps her. Same shit. That's that's beating. Yeah, <laughs> that's, oh my Same god! Shit. But yeah, I just think Joe. I like the way like like he speaks and like talks about shit. Like he knows a lot of shit that a lot of people don't really. Well, no, talk he isn't. Like, I think he I, is I, because I, of the podcast. That's why you fuck with mm-hmm. Logan Paul. Be saying he's the number one podcast. Is it really that's above that's fucking true. Joe Rogan? What? Uh, Logan Paul's podcast. I don't know uh, who the hell watches that shit. Though. That's what I'm saying. Why well, I, I used to watch well, maybe, on long drives. I, at the but. same time, it could be we a little older, but I don't yeah. know who's sitting there watching the old. I think we're on the podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, bro. But I think they're like neck and neck. Mm. Because Joe Rogan has his certain group of people. He's at the top of his shit. But mm. then Logan Paul got like the... Yeah, the there's, diff- there's different categories. Like sports podcasts, yeah. gaming podcasts. But so. a lot of people are making podcasts. Yeah, like, everybody is. Literally every NBA player is making podcasts. Nigga, Paul, I remember Pat Bev got a podcast and he was talking about how Paul George was like, you know, I'm going to do that shit. I would never watch Pat Bev in my life. Probably. No, I ain't going to lie. That shit look. It's kind of entertaining. Never. I'm not going to lie. Is because he talks about what happens in the game. I guess. Right yeah. after the game. Well, so if, you even are, Draymond, if you're into basketball, then yeah. Even man. Draymond Green's podcast is really entertaining. It just depends. Like, like, they'll talk about what just happened, like what we want to hear about. Mm-hmm. Especially when, because Draymond Green is the type of nigga that's like, he talks shit. So after the game, he's gonna talk about like why the fuck he was talking shit, what mm-hmm. happens. Especially he began fights all the time. Mm-hmm. Especially like when he had, he was about to get in a fight with Dylan Brooks, he was talking about yo this nigga, and they start doing beef. And they start going back on Twitter. It's a whole big scheme, bro. And then a video of Dylan Brooks comes out of uh, saying that he wanted to be like Draymond Green. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, bro. Told you it's just ammo. But what's the question you want to do before I talk about my um, question, bro? Who would y'all say is y'all top five YouTubers of all time? Like. PewDiePie, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if I get judged. He's mm. the goat. He he started. He started gaming. <laughs> don't care. Like he was him. Mm. So he's up there. I never watched him. Crazy. Me neither. I never Crazy. watched him. Crazy. He's just a staple of the childhood, to be honest. Mm. You know what I used to watch when I was a kid? What was those um what was those niggas that used to do Halo? What was it? There was a ML, oh no, Rooster Teeth? No. It was it was the red versus blue niggas. Oh, it was Rooster Teeth. That's what it's called. I'm pretty sure that yeah. The, the I watched is that, Teeth. and then there was another one. I forgot what it was. It was like it started with the S. I can't remember what the name was. It's like Scrims. I don't think it was Scrims. It was it was a. Oh, it's gonna piss me off. I'm, I'm finding it later. But it was like a pocket where it, it was like there was like the first like acting niggas. Mm. Like they would like come in the podcast. They would like have top not have topics, but they'll be like I don't know if it's acting or they'll just like. Have skits. Mm. That was the first. I forgot. Smosh. That's what it was Smosh. called. Oh, Smosh. Oh, that's yes. I'm like, that's what it's really called. Smosh. That uh, is... Niga Higa. That's Excuse it. me. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God's his name. Niga Higa. He's an Asian dude. Uh, yeah, Asian dude. Swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> He's, at He's been like... around for years. Like years since YouTube started. Mm. He just be saying his name, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> he did skits and shit like that in songs. He's up there. Who else do I like? I like Mr. Beast just about, Like y'all favorites Of all time mm, I feel like I don't have any um... Cause I feel like uh, People don't understand How a lot of these YouTubers that we watch Kind of Molded Like how we speak How we act like What flight. we like Flight oh, Well not flight No no actually Fuck who am I Who am I talking about No 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 Fuck uh, Soul No 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 He played 2K But he fell the fuck off Really bad Pretty Boy Pretty, pretty Boy Fredo. Fredo. I uh, thought he was the that was, shit, that was bro. A, that was an era. I fucked with Pretty Boy era. so much, bro. That was an era, bro. Oh, my God. I loved his videos. I used to watch the Australian niggas that played Fortnite. I used to watch them niggas. That was a little later in life, though. Yeah. He was grown. <laughs> 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 18, 19. <bro. laughs> nigga had a video of me fucking watching. Yeah, yeah nigga was grown, bro. <laughs> Harris was Fortnite. 19 years old watching Fortnite like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this nigga grown. Like. Uh, but hold on. You said Petey Pie. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. I'd say Smosh too, because I was really involved Smosh in Smosh. Smosh. Their food wars, stupid ass. Yeah, food wars, that shit. Loved it. Mm. So that's three. What else have I got? I used, to watch, nah, I used to watch fucking like chiropractor videos, like compilations 
like back cracking. Yeah, I'm, but I'm saying like you two birds, not like you oh, no, two I just, just want to say that. Not, <laughs> it's not weird. Like strange you want to put it out yeah, there. I just want to put it out there. there. <laughs> so everybody, I just like people cracking their backs. So. <laughs> I think he's a freak. YouTubers. I don't even be remembering names. Like, Q, what's that, what's that nigga that played Mad Q, Q, is it QZB? QC? QJB? QJB. QJB. I, like, I love QJB. I used to QJB watch. QJB was elite. When he was, he used to do, uh, it was like my career, but in Madden, he used to mm. always have a cornerback. That that made me want to play Madden. Mm. That's, that's just, tough. I used to that's like, tough. I like QJB. So that's a good clip. <laughs> um, damn. QJB, I think he's still going too. Yeah, I, I don't know a what he did. A lot of fell off, but I think he's still I going. think he switched to 2K for a minute. He did, but he know he always was playing 2K. Yeah, but I wasn't into his Madden. I was always into his 2K, and I got a little bit into it like later on. Was that was the one when that. he made that big man? Yeah, and he'll just keep... uh, something Bridges. Yeah, real still Neil Bridges. Yo, yeah, Neil Bridges. Neil Bridges. This yeah. nigga's name on freaking Madden it was London Bridges. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what his quarterback name yeah. was. His name was London, London Bridges, Bridges, and then Neil Neil Bridges was the 2K guy. All right, that's tough, but. I like the Roman Atwood. He was the first dude to do pranks. Roman Atwood. Yeah. Really? That's really? Oh, yeah. I got one. The, the minorities, bro. The minorities. Those are the first niggas to do uh, public interviews. Oh. Yeah. Bro, them niggas used to be crazy. I'm not going to lie. Them niggas was hilarious. Nah, they still be still go sometimes. Cause, but but you two don't jack them. Oh, yeah. I, I don't YouTube think so. They be trying to go on TikTok, but I don't think TikTok, because they're too explicit, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, they be bugging the fuck out. Like, they really just go to bars then find the drunkest people, people and just ask them the craziest crazy questions. Shit, yeah. <laughs> they be like, yo, how many bodies you got? Niggas be, girls saying 250. Hella. Yeah, they be, wild shit. He be asking mothers, bro. That shit be crazy, Speaking bro. of people doing that in public, you seen that dude on TikTok, Jared Boys? He be going up to people and calling them easy pickings. Wait, Jared Boys? Yeah, well, he be, he'll that, walk man. to do like UJ just in Target, Walmart, and be like, watch out, small guy. Obviously, that, that oh, that, like, oh, I have seen that. I have seen that. You're easy pickings. I have seen that. I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see him. <laughs> but he just be walking past. Yeah. Did he do that shit in the gym? Yes. Yeah, he does yeah. it to everyone. It's about cops. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're easy pickings. <laughs> That's good stuff. Watch out, small fuck? guy. <laughs> All right. So here's here's mine. Right. The first that come to mind because I feel like YouTube is really influential. Like, mm-hmm. Really yeah, influential. Yeah. So I would say Chris Move. Yep. Like Chris Move was heavy. In my childhood, like I used to come home every day in middle school to see if he dropped the video, because he would drop a video at the same time every day. <laughs> so right after school, I run to the computer and see. Um, before Speed, there was a guy called Duke the Killer, right? So mm-hmm. he used to play Madden, he used to play Two K, and he just used to be screaming and cussing. They gonna know, <laughs> like somebody's gonna know who the fuck I'm talking about. They really was in the YouTube world. He used to be just screaming. Cussing, carrying on, talking about booty. Like everything that Speed is doing, he was doing. He's not as bad as Speed, though. Like mm-hmm. Speed turning up to another level. <laughs> this is before YouTube was really like censoring everybody. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Edwards Jr. I don't know if you know who that is. Mine, I remember the he name. He used to do the skits. He used to do skits and stuff. I was heavy, like heavily fucking with that shit. Mm. Um, Steven Joe. That Steve and Joe? Steve, Steve and Joe. Steve and Joe. Steve. That's another person who used to do like. Uh, you have good memory. Yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't <laughs> he used to do like the uh, disturbing the peace videos. Like, so just going to South Beach, Miami and just messing with people. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like, okay. This is like, you. this is when YouTube's not even, wasn't even as big as it is now. Yeah. And these niggas was doing that. Um, I said, Chris Move. Uh, uh, fucking. No, no, no. Stephen Joe. Duke the Kevin Killer. Edward. Huh? You said Duke the Killer. Duke the Killer. And my last one had to be Vitaly. Vitaly used to go crazy. Vitaly Which was one? OD. Who was that? That was the dude who did what? He used to do like pranks too. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, I remember the name. I can't remember the face to it. But it went like, oh, that's nothing. Well, Kevin Edwards, they had like a whole group. So I would say that group too. Oh, I actually take Vitaly out in Dormtainment. Dormtainment? Dormtainment. What was that? Which one was it? So, Dormtainment is skits, too. Even if you go back and watch that shit. Damn, That bro. shit was, like, amazing. Like, that shit was ahead of its time. Really? And there's so many niggas that's not gonna... That might not even know about it because YouTube videos wasn't getting... Every video wasn't a million like now. Yeah. Because everybody wasn't on YouTube right now. So, when I went back to Dude the Killer, like, he has videos that I thought was viral. Yeah. That shit might have 30,000 views mm, on it, 40,000 yeah, yeah. views. And I used to go back and rewatch them videos bro. every day. You know, I don't I don't remember the people, but I remember 
I used to watch these niggas that used to do. You ever remember the the twenty four hour challenges niggas used to do on YouTube when they used to go in like Walmart and stay there and live yeah, there. Yeah, for twenty four hours. Oh, I used to watch yeah. that shit. I forgot what the nigga, but I, th- I heard that as soon as I heard that it was like faking it, then I stopped watching it. What? Oh. How they fake? It? Like they will like they would record. Just stop it. Yeah. They will like record videos, stop it, and they'll they'll leave and they will come in the morning and just re- like record like yo, that's mad weird. But some niggas actually used to get caught. Cause like that's like trespassing, yeah, it's tough. and shit. But I would fake it too if I'm getting millions of views off that shit. Guess. If you're making money, yeah, why not? Hey, bro, type that's shit. Fun. We might be faking these shits right now, bro. We be faking. I'm not this. even here, bro. <laughs> but all right, I got a question for y'all, right? Mm-hmm. So before I ask this question, yeah, y'all watch the Boondocks, right? You know about the Boondocks. Yeah. Jason, you know about the Boondocks. I just rewatched it seen uh, a little bit. Last all right. Year, two so years. would y'all rather? Which one would you rather do for a hundred billion dollars? <laughs> Jump into a 15 by 15 cage with a full grown lion for 10 minutes or be locked in a pitch black room with Fleece Johnson for 30 minutes. Do you remember I'm beating Fleece? the fuck out of Fleece Johnson? Pitch black. You remember who that was? Yeah. That's the booty warrior? Yeah, I'm not worried about the booty warrior. You're not going to take your booty? Booty warrior didn't even worry about me. I'm beating the fuck out, bro. But pitch black. You can't see him, though. Wait. Well, he can't see me. So, so how what you if you sneak up on him? This is YouTube. Uh, oh, my God. My dad told me about him. What? Isn't that yeah. terrible? When I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not worried about him. You're not going to be worried about him in the dark, bro? I'm not worried about him. Nah, I'm worried about him. That nigga's <laughs> sick, though. He's sick. That interview is crazy. How, how long am I in there with him? Cause 30 I might, minutes. I might get tired. That's what I'm saying. Won't go. But I'm not worried. I'm bro, what if he grab your shit, bro? That's an L I got to take, but I'm still going to I think I have a better chance of fighting a man than a lion, though. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? You don't got to fight. Ah, dang. 15 by 15, how big you think that is? Not that big. You ha- you're Damn. gonna. That isn't. I feel like that's a no brainer. Yeah, I know. I'd rather big. take the man than take no animal. Even if the what? man is trying to do something to me, well, he probably won't because I'm six three, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. But me adjacent, yeah. normal human size. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> but I still think I have a better chance to fight. Yeah, him. I'm. I'm gonna take it, but I'm just. Um, damn, bro. I seen that shit, bro. Pause, though. Does yeah, very, very pause. Huh? Does he have night vision goggles? Nah, but he's just. Oh, then he's done up. He's the warrior, though. <laughs> then he's done up. He, but he grabs a hold of you. Imagine he pinned you down, bro. <laughs> I don't see a case in which I get pinned down that easily. <laughs> like you try, you try. Even to though I am smaller than people, but nah, I just don't see it. <laughs> it's not gonna... I'm gouging out his eyes like crazy. <laughs> like, I'm going crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so you gonna attack the booty warrior, bro? Hell yeah! I'm being it's my booty now. Fuck. I'm being the fuck out of him, bro. The nigga said it's what? Right? Yeah, I'm about to transfer the title. <laughs> what the fuck you, about? you about to go get him? Yep, oh, fleece rubs. Fleece Robs yeah, is crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that was a real dude, bro. No, he's real. Yeah. I, I didn't know he was in the Boondocks. I was like, why did you reference the Boondocks? I just looked him up and I saw that interview. I'd be like, forgetting yeah. that the Boondocks be having real life people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, the That's... Boondocks would have real life situations. Like, yeah, I know. They had R. R. Kelly. Kelly it's like one of the first episodes. Yeah, yeah. R. Kelly. that shit had me crying, bro. But I got another question, right? So would you rather know when you're going to die or know when all of your loved ones are going to die? Oh, shit. I should just fuck me up. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. So like you know when you know when your boy's gonna die, you know when your mom, your dad, your brothers, you know all them gonna die. Or would you rather know when you're gonna die? Like exact date, exact moment. I feel like it's a lot to know when everybody is gonna die. I feel like it's a lot on your mind. Yeah. But it's gonna be a lot on your mind when you personally are dying. So That's what I'm saying. But like I feel Damn. like maybe I could help people though. You know, tell them like, hey, like do this before like, you know, you don't got time to. But like, maybe they'll do their dreams and accomplish their goals. Yeah, that's, but, that's another thing, is right. So if I know how I'm gonna die, I can just avoid this shit. That's what I'm saying. The whole thing of knowing no, you how know you're when die, you're it gonna die, it doesn't work. Oh, like the year, like year. You know the day. You got you know the time. You know, you just know when it's gonna happen. You don't know so, how it's gonna happen. So, but I you know you're gonna die on that go day. There. Oh, you just know you're gonna die on that day. On that day, you're gonna die. I'm gonna stay my ass in bed, bro. I better just choke. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'd rather know what anybody else does. I feel like I could help, and plus, um, it's less stressful for me. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, at least you know I know like who I should spend my time with. You know, shit like that would just help out. Would you? Okay, would you tell? Okay, them? yeah, that because that, let's say I know what I'm gonna die, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, my mom dies. I'm worried about me dying. I didn't know when she was gonna die, mm. and I didn't spend time with her. But still, you shouldn't even. But even so, like regardless of the situation, you should be spending time with your loved yeah, ones. Yeah, you're right. So yeah. Type shit. Damn. Would you tell them though if you knew when they was gonna no, die? Fuck you wanna no. tell them? I would not no. tell a single soul. Like, it's even stressful. If, that's what I'm saying. This this is a really good question. It's a really great question. Because I was thinking about, I'm like, yo, would I tell? I especially tell like, nobody. what if it's like your mom's gonna die next week? Like, I, 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 could, I could not tell her. No, I wouldn't tell my mom. Yeah, I don't think so. Let her enjoy her life. Yeah, 
That's true. <sighs> but I would try. I would do more though. Like I would try to do more. Like so I spend a lot of time with her, and I also yeah. like so you'll pick... try to get everything else set up so that when she does that, like I don't know, just go smoother. Even or something. so, a lot of people know when they're gonna die. Like say you're in the hospital bed, the doctor say you got to from six to eight months to live. Yeah. Type of shit. So. Yeah, I mean, I I know I see a lot of I'm, I I got the question because I was watching this guy on TikTok. He has like I think he has like terminal brain cancer. Mm. But he's oh, doing, the guy who runs. Yeah, yeah. So I seen him. I felt so bad. Like he's he, crazy. They told him like he got like two two years to live. So he's basically what is he doing running? I thought he, he just runs. I low-key thought he was gonna jump off the cliff, like do like some <laughs> skydiving type of shit. <laughs> no, he just runs like crazy. And what are y'all doing though? If what? I'm about to die, if you I know I'm gonna two, die, you, got, you know you're about to die. Like, how how are you living your life? Spend time. The same way I do now. Spend time with people and just play video games. I don't want to do nothing else. I yeah, have nothing I else I need to accomplish. I think I'll just do. spend time with people. Probably. Like I'm not ready to write a will though. I think. What was I watching the other day? Where they had to write a will or something? Or get their we, will. We ain't got shit. Huh? <laughs> we ain't got shit. I have. I have something. They give away. Your, your PC money? Yes, that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of money. Better, Otherwise than that, I'm sorry, but no one's getting shit. <laughs> you know, like I don't have anything else to offer, really. You said PC. No, nah, um, they telling me I got, I think I've answered this question on the spot before. What? Yeah, you, I, I think. I got a. Uh, got a couple years to live. A couple years to live, two years to live. Dropping bombs. Oh, yeah, you did say that. This nigga's Actually, sick. Actually, I want to rob a bank. Especially after I was watching no, the I'm not, I'm not I'm I've always wanted to rob a bank. I've always wanted to rob a bank. Well, that's why on the day I'm gonna die, I'm just, fuck it, I'm robbing the bank. Oh, that's how that's fuck. how the fuck you die. Yeah. <laughs> that's how the fuck this nigga die. Because what if they be like, oh, you're healed, and now you healed and you oh. in jail. <laughs> nah. that's at the same time, I'm talking about I'm dropping bombs, and what if they said I'm healed and now I got all these kids? Damn, and they gotta pay all this child support. Per child support. That's shit. Damn. You know what? Actually, robbing bank. It I feel depends. like it'd be so much fun, bro. I actually heard, like, yeah, I seen man. it on I some. It'd be so much fun. What robbing a bank? Yes. I heard somebody actually robbed the bank, but like the reason why he did it, it was because like he had he had a he had a disease, right? But he didn't have enough money to get surgery for the disease, mm. so he went into the bank and he was like, he gave the lady a thing. He's like, I got a gun on me. Just give me a dollar. She got scared. She called the cops. They brought him to jail, and he used the jail to like get free like surgery That's to get the shit removed. Mm-hmm. So he basically went to did that shit just cause that's fire, just cause um to save his life and shit. Mm. That's gas. I, that's crazy that you can get the surgery in jail in jail, but you couldn't get it if you was home. Right, it says a lot about the people, yeah. bro. They want you to suffer in jail. No. They want you alive to suffer. Oh, wow. oh yeah, that's that's true. They do want you alive to suffer in that shit. Cause niggas mm-hmm. that that niggas be saying thing that's the easy way. Nah, mm-hmm. bro, you gonna live this shit, this whole shit out, bro. Bro, how, you, how you feel about John Morant, bro? How do I feel? Yeah. Okay, now, I think that... I think the last time we was here is when it first started. Yeah, so now yeah. It's, it's to the point now he got suspended. I think he's... It's... It's reasonable. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at the the sentencing about it, like 50 games, because if he did bring that on the plane, that's crazy. Mm. So, but it's like at the same time, you gotta realize where what you're doing, like. Like Grant, like you said before, you don't know what he does in life. You don't know who, what type of person he is. Like he could be something different. But I at the heard end of the day, from the suburbs, though. you never know. He could have changed. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you gotta you wherever you are, you have to be professional. Whatever job you're at, say, say you're a hood nigga, but you end up getting a corporate job. You gotta change it up just to keep that job. Same mm-hmm. way, but it applies with him being a NBA player. Even though you say you do all this shit, go to the strip club. Thing like that, that's fine. But if once you pull out that gun, act like something. If you are that, then you act like it. But you can't act like it to because you got so many people that's looking up to you. You got to be professional. Yeah, it's basically, like you got to be prof- professional. Yeah, you can it. be who you are, but at work, and they be forgetting they at work. You mm-hmm. can be who you are or who you want to be when you at work. Act like you at work. Be professional. That's what I'm saying, bro. When you're on the basketball court, you don't act like a baseball player. Exactly. You got to act like just. It's just. Grow, you got you got to grow up, bro. But the, I'm not gonna lie. When he was at the strip club, that was a lot of money. Yeah. Did you see that picture? Yeah, mm-hmm. he was getting uh, he was getting uh, spit. Wait, what? Oh, you didn't see that? No. <laughs> there's, I'm there's, talking there's, about when he was at the strip club. There was it was like he was getting twerked on, but like it was just him and that one girl, and like the whole room was filled with money. Like I'm yeah, talking about twenty dollar bills, bro. There's a, there's, I don't know. People are weird now. Now, now they just try that's to weird. Him, that was weird. Where they had like a, a picture of him. Sitting down, butt ass naked in the strip club. What? With a bitch giving him head. I never seen that. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's just me. 
Nah, that's you shit only was... find the weird stuff. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> find I don't know where you found that shit. You always find something erotic, bro. I don't know how you <laughs> bro, that joke was all on social media, and I was kind of disappointed in whoever released that. Because that was like, that's weird. Y'all trying to crucify him. That's now. weird. That's yeah. that's where you draw the line, as in like you know that's not necessary mm. because he that like freaking you, you know how I many NBA players probably do shit like that. Mm. Imagine James all the Harden. Time, yeah. James Harden go to the club every weekend. Mm. Like that nigga James Harden, fucking. Swaggy P probably did even worse. But they, a lot of players probably did even worse, but it just wasn't recorded. But now, John Morant is in a spotlight where they are looking for him to fuck up and yep. looking for him to do something crazier. Yep. Looking for something to post on and for Skip Bayless to talk about. Yep. <laughs> like, that's what the fuck they really want to do. Like, oh, let's, what's next on Ja? Ja get suspended 50 games. That's how, that's how social media is nowadays, though. First of all, I'm, I'm confused on having a gun. Get you suspended? He brought it on the plane. But they they said he said it wasn't his gun. Yeah, but like, why do you you can't bring a firearm on the plane, especially if it's their private plane? Like, there's like policies in the NBA, like you can't bring like firearms. Like my thing is, you know, NBA players are bringing a firearm. Yeah, but like you gotta think about it. Some states don't allow firearms. He should have never showed it. Yeah, exactly. NBA players are protecting themselves. Exactly, but it's like you can't like, especially if he shows it, Mm -hmm. and he showed it in a place that's not Memphis. Mm-hmm. So it's like cer- certain places have different gun laws. So especially if you pull that out, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you have a you have a gun on you in the club. You're not even in your state right now." Mm-hmm. Because I know freaking college basketball players have guns on them all the time, bro. They, mm-hmm. Niggas just be getting gun license just cause. <laughs> it's not even that. These you have a lot of attention on you, and when you you're not walking around with security all day. I think I think certain niggas will get a gun license just cause it's cool. Mm, that's true. Because you really just got to fill out what? You just got to fill out paperwork? Mm, yeah, yeah, you have the police have to scan it, but it's really just... They do background checks. Background checks, like what? Niggas niggas just do that shit for fun, bro. Like, yeah, you so know, Victor, I got, I Victor got... has one. Really? Victor has a gun, yeah. Wait, is it is legal in Jersey? But you can't walk if around. If you have a gun license, yeah, no, you gun. can't holster, you can't publicly carry it, uh, but you, you can, can have, have one. A gun. You can't have it in uh, your car or anything, but... Oh, you can have it in your crib? Somebody I know traveled yeah. with a gun forever. Like from, but he's a military guy though. Victor, oh. has a, Victor has a fucking sniper. You didn't see Jakar with the picture of the sniper? That was Victor. Are you serious? Yeah, I thought that was like a had a sniper for you. Just had one. I thought it was a BB was gun. A, a 1942 sniper. That <laughs> <laughs> that real, that real sniper I thought that was a BB gun. No, it's Victor's. Oh my god, bro! But what what other stuff that I gotta talk about? I got some weird shit to talk about, bro. I seen on the news the other day. I got I seen on the news the other day. The Pentagon said there's a there's an alien mothership in the galaxy. Hmm? In our galaxy. All right, this is what they said. I see it was on the news. Mm-hmm. It was on what's that shit called? CBS. They said the Pentagon released a statement saying that there's a possibility that there's a alien mothership that's entered our galaxy. And you know, recently we've seen a bunch of like aliens, like you know, flying around. They've been shooting that shit down over the last couple of weeks. Those were Chinese air balloons. What are you doing? Nah, there was a couple other. I mean, the first one was. Mm-hmm. Did you see the other three? No. Like there's videos of. Hold on, let me let me see if I can find the video. Like there's there was. So there was recently one got shot down over Alaska, one got shot down over Michigan, and another one got shot down over Canada. I did actually see that. No, I, didn't hear I did see that. that. I did see that. So it was and the it one was, that was over Michigan, like people was recording in this shit. Like it was all in a row. Yeah. So people think that like it was a so people think that those things came from a certain like spot point, like a certain like thing. So it may be there there's a possibility there is like a mothership somewhere in our galaxy that we just don't know where it's at. Or they know where it's at, but they just don't want to tell us about it. But why? Why is it f- like? Why does it fly? Why don't? Why it don't drive? You know what it is. It's why mo- is that an automotive? It might be. Uh, because you the- can't travel the galaxy in a fucking sedan. Think about it, bro. But, but why is not a, a a thing that can fly and drive? But look, if they so advanced, I don't know if they have roads in where they're from. But I don't think, and they, I don't think to them, I think they're so advanced they don't even need that shit, bro. That was hard. Because I was thinking was about answer. it, right? I seen some nigga. I was watching Joe Rogan again. He said something that was low key type crazy. Think about us as you know, you know where North Centennial Island is. Those people, the 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 only indigenous people that we can't touch. You know yeah. that. So think about us as them, right? We are bi- so them, the North Centennial people, they don't know nothing about technology. They don't know about what's going on outside the world. All they know is what their world is, which is just hunter gatherers, shit like that, and nobody touches them. They don't even know that India is owns that country. They think they own their their island. India owns that island. So that's basically people think that if there were aliens to like that rule over us, that would be how it is. Like we don't even know 
Like, we think our world is this, but really we're run by somebody else that has way more advanced shit that we could ever even imagine. I can believe it. That's hard. Like, think about it. Them niggas don't even know what, like, water bottles are. Mm. Like, these niggas see a water bottle flowing and think, and think they think it's like a fucking, oh, they think it's like a, a UFO shit. Like, when we see yeah. something in the dirt that's like yeah. some new metal, we don't know what it is. That's the same thing that they look at it. So, are y'all mm. prepared? No. Am I prepared? No. We, uh, fuck us. Is the world prepared? No. We're fucked. I don't no, I don't think we're prepared at all, but I feel all like... Right. Are you mentally prepared? I think they're trying to. This is the start. Mm. Like, this is the start of mentally preparing us for this shit. Like I, I said it before, they're going to... I said this, but mad long ago. This is how they get us used to it. You start off with the movies. You start off with like fucking the shit with Men in Black and shit like that, Independence Day, all these movies to see how it goes. Then you start putting it on the news. Talking about fucking UFOs getting shot down all the place, put on social media. Then you start talking about, oh, now the Pentagon released new shit about UFOs that they're actually a thing. Now they're just gonna start coming out, coming I mean, more and more. If just, we coexist peacefully, I'm prepared. Now, I'm if, fine it's, with if that. we're being enslaved, then no, I'm not prepared because I'm gonna miss everybody. That's how I I'd see it. If I'm enslaved, I don't wanna be in the camp by myself and miss everybody. Honestly, think about it like <laughs> this if we were to be enslaved, we probably are. Think about it. Hey, that's, that's I got a, a lot bar. of freedom for being a slave. I'm fine but with like that. You might, look, look, think about it. They put you... It's a You're system. just thinking of physically abuse slave. I'm thinking about Auschwitz, yes. No, not yeah. that. I'm thinking... But like, as a sense where we are in a system where we can't... We, it's like we are made... To, the we are... Yeah. Oh, then what do I give a fuck? Okay, I'm a number. Exactly. I still could have fun. I'm still enjoying my life. <laughs> <laughs> you cool with that? Yes, no problem. Uh, hey, as long as you cool with that, bro. What, but I mean, my issue is when... When worlds combine, like when, when like, when like different things, like say things of outside the matrix now come in the matrix. That's probably what they try not to like, do. Was yeah, a, you know, I was thinking about when you were saying that. If I go to a diner and they got smorblork on the menu, I'll be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? You wouldn't want to try yeah. it though. Mm, fuck no. Smorblork. They probably no, have some crazy D, shit. D, D, like Rick and Morty. D, 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 come on, D, D. imagine living in one. I, I was universe, thinking. Though. I was thinking about Bright. I've like, never seen it. Bright, Bright is a great depiction of how I think would that, that well, it would <laughs> we're gonna be. be racist towards them. Yeah. Well, they could be racist I think towards that us. I wouldn't be racist towards them. I wouldn't be. They gonna yeah, if they no if they can speak English and communicate, and I just wouldn't want them playing our sports. I think that's unfair. Type shit. Because we don't know what they're capable of, and how far they their bodies can go, and how strong they can get. Not right away till we do tests on the motherfuckers. What if they just like what if they stoop down to our level? You cool with Indeed, that? Indeed, because if I had superpowers, yeah, you think I'm, I'm I'm going easy on niggas? Yeah, nah, <laughs> you I'm using my shit. Fucking, that's tough. That's if tough. I had uh, ability to super jump, you think I'm jumping over niggas? That's true. That's true. I'm if I'm doing track and field, I might jump over two hurdles. The bronze and alien people. We talking? Like, we saying it right now. <laughs> that nigga sent you. But you think? You think this is the first time we ever, like, experienced, like, aliens or something like that? Like, if it will ever come, like, say, because remember when I was t- talking to you about uh, the last podcast with mm-hmm. the, that woman that said the in 2023, yeah. the freaking alien apocalypse is going to come yeah. or some shit? Mm-hmm. This might be the start of that shit now. Especially, they put that bitch on the news, bro. Talking about that shit to the news. Saying all about the freaking intergalactic uh, armada, mothership, whatever's in our galaxy. You don't just put that shit on CBS. Mm. Like you just, I don't know. Unless they trying to, people, a lot of people think there's like a fake thing just to like bring in a new world government. They think this is what they're gonna, they're trying to fake. They think that they're trying to fake an alien invasion so we all get scared and then something's gonna come save us like a superhero and then we're all gonna be one together. Joe Biden's gonna save us, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> My thing about the government, right, is they control who we go to war with, when we go to war, and things like that nature. But they're not fighting the world, the war. Like, yeah, like back in the days, that. like the olden times, the leaders they used to be of those, they was right in the war. They oh, was front line. Yeah, that yeah, is true. Ulysses S. Grant, war general. Like, that he's is in that true. Bitch for they was front line and he was fighting. And I feel like a lot of the decisions that these presidents and, and, and senators would make would be a lot different if they was yeah, fighting the war. It's easy to say. That's it's true. easy to say, we're going to go to war and end you guys. When do you think that's they not doing that shit. When niggas realize, nigga, I'm <laughs> <dying."> <laughs> yeah, who's the first person to be like, nigga, I'm, I'm, about di- to die, nigga, I'm not about to go die with y'all, nigga. So. Low key, it had to have been fuck? after like the Civil War or some shit like that. Like after Abe Lincoln might have been the. Did Abe Lincoln fight? 
I doubt it. I don't know. He was in there watching know. plays and got shot. Nah, Abe Lincoln was, used to like wrestle. Though. Wasn't he like Hold wrestling up. champ or some shit? We can, nigga, that's why we got Google. He like. never tell a lie though. That nigga lied, bro. He lied like shit. That had nigga used to fucking lie, bro. He had slaves. Yeah, he sla- all them niggas. But he lie. did abolish slavery, just so, so he could have them all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's why he abolished slavery. <laughs> that nigga wanted, you know, he wanted to be a good guy, bro. He just just, just did that for the election, bro. Fuck that shit, bro. Nah, it's just yeah. He didn't. He didn't fight. I think the only one that fought was George. It had to be only just George Washington. No, because I'm pretty sure Ulysses S. Grant was a war general. What year he's was on that? the 50. I'd have no idea, but I think it's after April. But that's so what I'm saying, saying, though. It would be a lot different if niggas... Joe, let, let Joe Biden go out there let and go Joe fight. Let Joe Biden put on a fucking flak and Kevlar. They wouldn't be trying to do war no more. He'd be falling but off like, bikes. Do you think that... I feel like back then, we always looked at the leaders of our country as just the generals. But then we evolved we looked to... We like, the leaders of our country because... They didn't only display power with words. They physically were yeah, going they were out showing, showing that they was powerful. That's true. Same thing like, you know, like the old Chinese dynasty and stuff like that. Genghis Khan, yeah. leader, he's yeah, out there fucking up out bodies. There fucking shit up. That was so shit. Like That's why these niggas too. got forever respect. Like mm. actual respect where it's like, yo, he was out like, there I do this going stupid. Like he was so, out there. So like, if Obama went out to Iraq, you would go out with them? I'd feel a bit more comfortable, yeah. I would. He about that. I would really, you're going to really feel like Wait, let me see that again. <laughs> but you're going to really feel like he is... Oh, let me show you that. Yeah, well. I know. I saw it on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to really feel like he's out there, though. Like, you're going to yeah. feel like he cares about it. Like, he's really fighting for the cause. That's true. Fighting for the cause isn't saying, I want to protect my country. It's actually going out and doing things to protect your country. Where it's different ways, but at the, niggas are... Everybody are really look at it like, okay, see, this brother's out here. What we, I feel like war is just to build uh, uh, money. And build up the economy. Mm. I feel like that's what the main purpose of war is. To Unless we go down. war with them niggas up top, then yeah. that's for our, that's for our lives. If we actually <laughs> gotta go, that's for our lives. Yeah. If we gotta go to war but with that's them, that's where everybody. It don't even matter if you black, white, yellow, green, blue. Yeah, them niggas in together, them niggas like, in what's his name? He better come help. Yeah, wherever we he all, got, wherever he cooking up over there, he we better all help. Have artificial sons, bro. We're about to shoot them sons niggas, out of yeah, we Whenever all Russia twin, got them nah. big, that big ass nuke, that's like, what's it called, Poseidon, or whatever. Yeah. Send that bitch to the sky, whatever. Find a way. But that shit probably gonna go. And pew. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gonna miss. Shit go, man, <laughs> shit go, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If we ever would go, to, if we ever would go to war with niggas like that. I think they know better not to go to war. I think, you I think they, they know better. I think they just. They, they, first of all, you have to think war though. They have the higher that's ground. That's what I'm saying. But think about it. I feel like they, they, they look at us like yeah, ants. Come on, bro. Exactly. Do you want to go war ants? No, because we pity them. It's not because we know better. It's because we pity ants. They're so they're so useless to us. What could we give a fuck? Mm, that's actually kind of true. They probably those. Yeah, that's probably true. They probably don't give unless a fuck. the ants start acting up. Now let's say ants like tripled in population. We might be fucked. <laughs> I'm not joking. Those things could carry a lot. They could pick up UJ if they wanted to. Like a bunch Are you of talking ants? about ants they in this world right now? I swear to God, they yes. It, oh yeah. They try to say that on the last thing when it was like, "Oh, ants gigantic, nigga." I'm murking an ant. <laughs> nigga, their mandibles are tough. Can an ant stop this, Joe? No. <laughs> yes. No, we can't, bro. No, I said a giant ant though. A giant ant is de- it's definitely can't stop nah. it. Like fire ants, they'll fuck you up too. Nigga, I guess if, you're gonna if, fire if, ants. Bro. If this joint go straight to a bear. It go right through a bear. <laughs> oh my it's going God. through a fucking ant. All right, so since you want to talk about that shit, let's let's. I got another question to ask you, right? So you have a baseball bat. You shit. tell me if you can go one one v one versus this animal. There's a lot of things I go one v one with a bat. You got a bat on you, all right? Mm-hmm. Talk to me, man. You have a horse, full grown oh, horse. Yes. I'm on the horse. Nah, the full, the oh, horse is I'm charging fighting. you. Yeah. With a bat. Yeah. Think about it. You know how big a horse is? If it is? kicks me once, I'm fucked, but I'm barely confident that it won't be able to Is that a metal bat I got? i give you a wooden bat. The Still, fuck yes. you give me a wooden bat? Still, um, yes. I beat. I, you I could break the fuck out their skull. <sighs> That's a... B- All right. It's like their skulls are any harder than ours. I, mean, I, think, I think it'd be a little difficult, but I'm winning that. You think you win that? I'm winning that. I think I'm winning that one, too. You think you win that, Jason? Yeah, hell yeah. All right. I'm winning that. All right. How about a Rottweiler? Full grown rock oh, wild. Like, yeah, that's like I think I'm. A, I'll yeah. beat. I'm yeah, I mean, rock. There is no dog that arm, I man. think I cannot beat. Nah, there's some dogs that's huge, bro. No dog I cannot. If we talk them, about beating a, a fucking horse, come on now. Fuck <laughs> is a dog. Yeah. I put a dog in one of these. 
All right, how about how about a moose, full grown moose? No, no, nah, I'm scared of moose. No, yeah. that's like, <laughs> no, they're the real front. deal. I'm not lie, they're the real deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna front. I, I always say this: there's very few animals like I look at and I'm like, bro, I don't even want to go around. They're that hostile as fuck. They're aggressive. As fuck. They're aggressive too. Big as fuck. Them shits is huge, my nigga. Them shits is like bigger than like bro. They attract trucks, trucks for no reason. Nah. For no reason. They'll just hit trucks. They just they think trucks is their op. Big old <laughs> trucks. I don't want no problem with them. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, I'm think yeah, no, I'm not seeing a moose, bro. No, no moose? I'm fucking no. I don't even want to try because I, they have fucking big ass antlers and shit. Like, yeah. that. Oh, that shit hit you in the no, chest, bro? Bro, they're already big. They got antlers extending to show you that they are big. They tall. No, they're about I'm cool, bro. All right, how about, how about a full grown elk? Yeah. Do you know how big elks are? Yes. Now... I'm relying on one hit. If my one hit doesn't yeah. work, I'm done. Honestly, I'm relying on one hit for all of these. Bro, you know, shit. like they're except thing, the rock, like a They literally them. run into each other as like a yeah. as a thing. You think that bat is equivalent to <laughs> you them running into another full grown elk? That's gonna stop them. But you're also but, like it's a, it's a clean blunt blow. They're just head butting. Like if I hit blunt like over the head straight to their skull, I'm hoping I crack it. Bro, the look, accuracy you need is crazy. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you know how big an elk is, bro? Them shit's like, them shit's got muscles on them. Damn. I think I'm going to die. I ain't going to lie. That, well, shit, that shit charging at me, that shit going to kill if me. If you get one clean hit. Are you going right, to hit it sideways? You're going to hit nah, it like. I'm thinking like, directly. I'm talking about. Why boom. would you hit it directly on the top if they because run into each other like this? the skull, it'll pierce Why the don't you just hit them in the face? Because fucking, you pierce his face. What are you going to do? Nothing. You, you have to hit the brain. Okay, but like. There's no chance of stopping But look, they're used to this. How are you going to, like... But they're not fracturing their skull. If you hit somebody on the... Like, if you hit a skull as hard as you can with the bat, it could fracture. But you crack know how the, accurate crack you got to be? the skull be? into the brain, your brain's not punctured. Okay, but, like, you know how accurate you got to be for that? At least if you swing right, you well, can... that's what I'm saying. It's one hit. Now, if I miss, I'm done. See, look, you... <laughs> imagine you break the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be done up, bro. But, like, look, if you swing right, at least... It's going to start him for a little bit, and now you can go back to beating the I shit. don't think he's startled, bro. <laughs> you think he's just going to... He's yes. just going to... You got to... You got to... Fucking shake his head yeah, a little bit. Because you know how much power you're really, really, really going to need, though? A lot, yeah. yeah like you ain't like Thor? So, you, so it's deep. No, that's probably horses, deep. horses be pussy sometimes, though. They no, I'm talking about this nigga mad. Like, he about to, like he's running at you right now. Like, full speed, you just got a bat to protect yourself. Again, I'm relying on one hit. Maybe the nose, the nose might start on. Maybe. Like, okay, if you hit it, that's not bad. If you just hit him, like, on the bridge I'm of the nose. I'm thinking some cool shit, like a... <laughs> yeah, <I'm like>, <laughs> <laughs> cool shit is antlers gonna pick you up you're gonna be skewered so is D for the elk though I think so oh, okay okay is D for you UJ you think you'll kill that nigga it's, it's D it's, it's D, D. It's all right, all right. how about how about a giraffe think about it yeah you're not beating a giraffe, a giraffe. <laughs> you is not beating no goddamn giraffe what if I hit it <laughs> where no. do you know how tall the bitch is yeah his leg I, I if the animal legs is not if any animal's in defense mode and not attack mode, I win. Except a, a hippo. That's Those things are crazy. Uh, okay, no. Not any animal. Any animal. A Komodo dragon? Oh, he's done. In defense mode and not attack mode, I win. What's defense I could, mode? I could wrestle any reptile in this you world. You is not wrestling a Komodo dragon. You're not wrestling wrestle. a banana snake. Come on. In, <laughs> You're not. In defense mode. You know big What's banana defense snake? So they only are blocking any attack I make. So... So say, like they can't bite? They're swaying. They're not attacking me. <laughs> okay. So like say say they're like say you corner them right now. Is that defense? Yeah. Okay. There's no way. If there's like there's a crocodile right there, there's no way you're wrestling a crocodile. Come on, bro. Please be you think you don't think I can wrestle a crocodile? No. <laughs> no, actually, I don't. Yeah, no, I don't. I've seen niggas real low body take a crocodile and flip it over. Okay, but hear me out. You don't have the stamina. Like, they'd be fighting for hours. Nigga, I had the stamina, bro. I you really don't have the stamina like a crocodile. Ask about me, they bro. They will fight for hours. We could go, bro. <laughs> Wait, go. A cr- uh, okay. If a gorilla is right here in defense, you is not meeting a gorilla. Done up. <laughs> that, Fuck. Okay. In defense. So that nigga, he's cowering in fear in that corner right there, uh-huh. and he's just as soon as you charge him, what like what is like he's, he's not. He, could, he is evading, and like he's just running away from you. He's running away and he's just blocking. Bro, if he, just, stuff, if, if he gorilla, just hit you with the elbow, yeah, you're gonna if a get gorilla blocked out. like this, your arm might break. No, I won't. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> nah, not a yo, nah. First of all, okay, a crocodile is crazy. Uh, bro, crocodile is light. That's probably the no, easiest shit you said. What? Why? To wrestle a crocodile? You know Niggas wrestle cro- crocodiles every day. No, they, they don't wrestle they, them. They, they just sit on top of them and close their mouths. But again, nigga, I'm roll really over. Bad. I'll be watching the video. Nigga. Gonna you gonna roll you with them? Nigga. Or you gonna make them roll? I'm gonna make them roll. And then wow. he's gonna roll with you eight times more. All right, let's do it. <laughs> nigga, you're dead. I'm you're not, so bro. dead. I'm not. Let me. Uh, Especially it? a baby alligator. That thing is done up. Okay, a baby alligator, okay, of course. Baby alligator, sure. I'm gonna I, I think I can tail and go like this. No. <laughs> I think I can you beat. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I could be a baby alligator. I can take a baby alligator. And turn How big like is this. he? Like three feet? Three feet. Them niggas be like six foot. That's not a baby. That's a full that's grown a alligator. That's like a kid. No, it's not. <laughs> that's like a kid. Well, alligators be the size of Coco. Nah, it's bigger, bro. What the fuck? But you okay? You got the crocodile. You know, I'm definitely taking the crocodile. No, you're not. Okay. I'm taking you know the crocodile. The, the, and the last animal is a ram. No. No. Nah, Those that. things are fucking crazy. I know. I think that shit in my kneecap, I'm done. They're going to try too hard. I know. Y'all niggas think I'm not hard. fucking with a crocodile, bro? No, no. bro. Y'all niggas is dumb. I'm How, what fucking are you, What are you going to do to neutralize it? What are you going to possibly <laughs> What is the crocodile going to do to neutralize me? Bite the shit out of you. <laughs> like, the <laughs> dog shit out of you. I'm talking about clean through your bone like you was eating butter. Like. First of all, their movement is very limited. So, these niggas turn like this. <laughs> Any nigga that's turning like this ain't fucking Okay, with but me. they quick, though. They gonna turn like this now. Yeah, they be, <laughs> like, they be jumping backwards. If, I, if, I, if I'm on an alligator's back, how do they, what can they do? Okay, but what could you do back? How like, you gonna what? get on the back? If it was a fight to the death and you had, to, one of you guys has to kill each other, what are you doing? You can't. You can't do anything. Like, yeah, wrestling. Like, I'm... Do you it, see to save my life, nigga? I'm John Jones. John Jones can't take a crocodile. John Jones not taking Come, no crocodile. Bro, don't disrespect John Jones. Saltwater crocodile. Don't the, disrespect John Jones. You know how bro. big them shits are? You know how big John Jones is? Yeah, they're sure, bigger than John Jones. That shit like ten about feet. The same. Like if he, John Jones laid down, he might be the same size. Like, I right, can, can you be can you beat a polar polar bear? No. Okay. Fuck. We no. we got the reality. Okay. What do you mean we got to reality? I'm fucking up a crocodile. No, you're not. We're trying to break the just the eye. So even if so. I even seen because in Florida them niggas be fucking them niggas up all the time. Those are, are just, alligators though. Crocodiles are, are bigger. Like, I'm telling like, the same well, alligator problems. crocodile, same thing. How do you kill a crocodile without a gun? How are you gonna kill it? You can't. You Bro, simply can't. I'm not trying to kill them. I'm trying <laughs> to win the fight. Okay, but they don't give up. Like they'll be there for hours with you. So we in it. We in it for life. No, you are not. <laughs> this nigga you are tired of dying, shit, bro. Right, bro, we in it for life. You know what? UJ walked up there stairs and was breathing heavy. Chatting. Nigga just decked him. Uh, you guys got anything to talk about? Because I was going to talk about some other shit. Yeah, you can get into it, bro. Because I want I to bring back to the... Remember we were talking about aliens and shit? Because I was, I was going to ask you a question. So, if say aliens do come down, right? Do you think that would be our first time encountering with aliens? Do you think our... I think... I'm sure they've been here before. You think so? Know. Mm-hmm. You think so? Yeah. Because like, I think so, too. Because I remember they was talking to me. I was... Watching, I was um, I was actually I was reading an article about some shit. There was a a tribe in Africa that was like seven hundred years ago that that knew about the solar system before we ever made a telescope. Mm, like they knew about every single planet. Like they used to write in the hieroglyphics in their caves and things like that. And they used to talk about how that they learned it from these ancient beings that came from the sky. Mm. And they would teach them like how to like find water and things like that. They'll teach them like languages and they'll teach them like where they were from and they, they said that there was a there was a they were from some clusters of stars that we can't see with our eyes you have to look like you have to use a telescope to find it mm-hmm. and they named it they they said the same exact name that we found like as like scientists like that's what they found it as and i i remember like they was talking about how like how the solar system was and even people from like I think Mexico was saying the same shit, like different tribes and shit like that. Like they visit them and they teach them about like what's outside of their world and shit like that. Mm. And there was also another tribe in like the mountains of Tibet that was like a, they, it was like, they weren't like humans. Like they took the DNA, they, like the DNA they had didn't match with none of the DNAs that our like ancestors had. Mm. And they spoke different languages based on like the hieroglyphics they wrote. And like in 1938, a bunch of archaeologists went up there to like excavate and some shit like that, and they found bodies, but the bodies was mad little, like you know, like like how aliens look. But that could also be fake. They could be like John off mm-hmm. that. But they said that they found like little, like seven little bodies of like 
little humanoid people, and they found like this little new metal that we don't even know what's like made out of. Mm. So I think they've been here. I like especially especially with how all the shits that we see nowadays, like you know the pyramids and shit like that. We didn't build them shits. Like they talk about niggas used water to put each step, each block, block by block to mm-hmm. make that perfect shit. Because they even said if you mess up one block, the whole shit doesn't look right. So it has to everything has to be lined up perfectly. Mm-hmm. I don't think no human, like even our society, could even build some shit like that. Damn. I think they've been here, hundred percent. You think so? I think. Yeah. I think so. I think so as well. But I also think there's been, even current day, I feel like there's people that display physical things that's like, yo, that's not even. We'd be like, yo, that's not human like. But it actually is a human like. Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, yo, we'd be like, it actually yeah, we'd be is talking about Mark like. Zuckerberg. So it was like, wait a minute. Even like physical capabilities people have or mental capabilities. Yeah, I was have. just we'd like, yo, somebody, right. Somebody, one of your ancestors they're not from here. That's that's what I was about to say too. Like I feel like not even like physical, <laughs> like a lot of uh like mental shit, like uh like spiritual shit. Mm. Like I feel like uh like certain you know when people like monks go into like the mountains and they be by themselves, I feel like they learn like certain shit from maybe something been passed down from new, like ancestors, like maybe it were aliens that's something that can unlock some parts of your brain where it could like you can do more than what you're we're capable of doing. Yeah. Cuz I feel like we like, it really does sound like me though. What? That's mm. you. Yeah. What like you come up with? A different. You unlock. What's different about you? Do you really want me to start? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now the way I walk, the way I talk, the way I move, the way I act is unlike any other. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You practice this? Well, no. In the mirror every day. Real shit. This is me every day. You know who I am. <laughs> These people is a little different. They don't know who I am, but I generally used to believe that I don't use. They they say we use eleven, twelve percent. Ten percent. Ten percent. There's no way in the world that I use 10%. Mm. You're kind of smarter than you, though. Please be for real. <laughs> <laughs> I want you. I want to see you have a math. Yo, when Jakai comes back, you have to have a math off on the pod. Math yeah. is crazy. Let's do an English test. <laughs> English test. For me. But when we, we think about logic and predict, like, I can predict a lot of things correctly. Hmm. Like, a lot, bro. You can predict like more than Jakai? It's, it's a spiritual calling. I want you to go back, right? Yeah. To an episode in the pod when I was here and I said. Well, I'm not even gonna tell you what I where what number it was, but I said that we would be past a certain number of followers on TikTok. And we're past that. I said by this time next year. And mm. I want you to look at it. We jumping though, huh? Like shout out to y'all, bro. We jumping on TikTok. When I said so, bro. If I would have been like, No, this podcast ain't gonna be shit, it wouldn't have been shit. <laughs> think she's a fortune teller <laughs> type shit. Now we we is jumping though. I think we reached three seventy five. <laughs> 375,000 on TikTok. That's good. One video okay. is already at 11 million. Really? Yeah, shout out to yeah. Ooji, dude. Shout out to Spooge, Spooge bro. The Spooge video made it? 11 million, bro. He was on there like, dude, dude, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga just decked him. All right, Tony, don't let me hit no video that's 11 million, bro. Niggas got to talk to my lawyer after that in order for me to get an, uh, an episode. Nah, my goal is to get like... Cause is, the, oh, that's a, that's a great question. Like, what is your ultimate goal with the podcast? When are you going like, to feel accomplished? Wanna, what do you not even accomplish? What do you want to do? What I want to What is this shit for? What I want to do is I want this to be like I like I feel like in the future I want this to be like my job. Like I want this to be where that either we're making money off of either we're signed by somebody cuz there's also there's a lot of um I don't know if I don't know what the like companies they'll sign like I, th- I forgot what it's called. They'll sign like podcasters to like you know, display the shits mm-hmm. over there to, for YouTube. I ain't signing 25 niggas, man. No, Spotify do. No, it's like, but it's like, I want to get to the point where it's like, we, it's like, we're all working together. Now, hear me out. He made a good point. 25 minutes. <laughs> You're going to have to Look, drop some members. Yo, I got I, a few names. Yo, don't worry. Don't worry. I already okay, got I'll it. We're going we to talk about afterwards. We already, I already got some shit playing. But my <laughs> he's like he cut. <laughs> my, like he cut down, my, my goal is to like to a point where it's like I also want to open up a like a facility where it's like we have our own like space where we can do podcasts. But then I'm also gonna rent out rooms for people to either make content, shit like that, make music videos. They can record podcasts in the other room. They just gotta rent it out for like a couple hours and things like that. Cause I seen somebody that has a podcast that does that. He rent he bought like a 
a building and there's like five, six rooms in it and other podcasts go in there and record their videos in there and shit like that. Honestly, that's what it, the word is becoming. We're becoming yeah. content creating. Yeah. I know. So, so yeah. what's your um, short term goal at the moment? Like in terms of followers, right? Mm-hmm. What's the incentive? What What's like the goal you want to reach? Short term, like not long term, many, not like I want to have five million, but like short term, you know, realistically, right? Like you know, a couple right, so months. I, the thing that what I be trying to tell you about speaking things into existence, like how many the followers? Power of the yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like if, you know, hey, I want to hit like four hundred, blah, blah blah blah, and you know, like that's so. It makes people want to. I have a goal every every. Well, I have a goal like every year. So this this year, by the end of the year, I was saying like probably five hundred thousand, five hundred thousand on TikTok. Probably, I think I put. Maybe six, seven thousand subscribers on YouTube, and then fifty thousand plays on mm. um on Spotify things like that. Cause I didn't know we have twelve thousand, twelve hundred followers on Spotify. Really? And we we have we have yeah they just started counting them. I never knew. It. It's just, then that's just Spotify. It doesn't count Apple Music or nothing like that. And that I think Spotify is about sixty percent of our like total viewers. So if we can count, it might be around like. 2500 because each week is about 400 people that listen very good no, yeah man. that's very very good like unique viewers you mean or like like actually that like averaging out like um, out of everything how many people listen to it per week that's yeah yeah that's really fucking good honestly mm-hmm. yeah so just you know growing day by day and shit like that my goal is i don't have to work a day again even ask you this question like what even made you start this is a good clip like what is because now now yeah, you're, actually know the backstory yeah because now like what it like what even made you start what was the motivation like I don't even because now you have new followers so now they yeah. also need to know that this could be something that you you could have brought up the first like episode you yeah. Yeah. or maybe you did but the first episode I don't even think you really got in depth in the first episode I never really got in depth because I look if you would tell me I I start we started this podcast I remember I put it in the chat in this July of 2021. And once I put in the chat, I knew I was like, I gotta go full force for this. Mm. I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of nigga that be like, all right, I'm gonna say it, and then if it gets too hard, I'm gonna stop. Like there's, there's yeah, you di- try hard, so I believe. Yeah, you, you know, know what I'm saying. Yeah. I can't. I can't have <laughs> niggas. Like, hard, I can't have niggas look at me like he's the, he's this nigga. Like oh, he he don't, he don't really care about mm. this much. But like if you would have told me by now, like in like October, that we're gonna be almost at. Four hundred thousand. I would never believe that shit. But I told you. You did say it. I didn't believe you though. I really didn't What's believe. Wrong with this guy, bro? But I just I started because I I wanted to find a thing that to do where it's like different. Because at the time, podcast wasn't really a thing, and I didn't even watch podcasts. I remember I just seen I seen a clip on TikTok of these the, the these two Filipino guys talking about shit that that yeah, seemed interesting. About, yeah. So now I was like, you know what? I'm like, you know. You guys, we always talk about shit like this in the What's party chat. Uh, Jumpers jump. Okay, you know you gotta give people some, some love. Yeah, and shout respect. out to y'all though. Don't worry, we gonna we gonna talk soon. Mm. But I always thought like you know conversations I be having with Jay, conversations I be having with you. I feel like that's like good conversations that people always want to mm-hmm. listen to. I never I always want to have something where we all could like like branch or make with that. Like we can build from this, and it's like. With this, it's like something different. Nobody did podcasts before. Nobody even talks about most of the shit we have. And it's like where we're at now, we're at the point where it's like we're at the top, maybe 95 percentile of like podcasts at the moment. So right. if, like like my goal, like I never realized, I didn't know I would reach, we would reach out to this many people. Like, you know, niggas talk to us on a daily basis, like talking to us about like how they watch us and they are inspired to do something like us because mm-hmm. we talk about this is how we talk on a normal basis to each other. I was just about to say, like, are you aware that you probably like have inspired somebody to want to mm-hmm. do something like this or just whatever? Maybe? Yeah. I mean, I, a lot of people DM me. I talked to a lot of people like this one guy's name, Jamario. Shout out to you, bro. And uh, from Barbados. We talk, he talks to me a lot about, um, you know, certain conspiracies and things like that. And he also talks about like his friend group that he has in Barbados is just like us. Like we always talk about, mm-hmm. talk about You're Mario Mihal. You I ain't feel like, like me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of us everywhere. That's what I'm saying. But it's just people being afraid to come Put in front of a camera there, yeah. and speak. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And I feel like, like I also, I named it no regulars because I feel like in society, they make you act a certain way to be accepted. But I yeah. feel like where we at, where, when you're like, you know, when we're talking to these microphones, it's like, you can say whatever you want to say. You can talk about anything weird. Nobody's going to judge you. You can just be who, whoever you are. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. And it's like, this is a place where people could just show that. I feel like everybody has that side of them where they don't really, 
where they talk about things that they're afraid to talk about with other people. Mm-hmm. But I feel like with us, we're we talk about weird shit every day. Like people yeah. think like, oh, we just we we find topics for like you know for views and shit like that. Which sometimes it might happen like that. But like that's some shit we, we talk, talk about. We talk like, about no, really. Bro, bro. PlayStation party. We've been doing this for chat, years. Niggas, link up. This is like what we do. Like me and UJ just, used yeah. to be on PSN parties from for four or five hours just talking yeah, about random shit. Random shit. Bro. Jason, same way. So I feel like like where we at now, it's like because there's nights I be I be working working at work or grind, uh, editing videos like all night. Especially especially if it's like later in the week I gotta get out Sunday. It's like. A process like there's there's times i don't want to edit there's times i don't want to make clips but you just gotta like you know it's gonna be it's gonna benefit you in the long run mm-hmm. and i always felt like even like when i played basketball i always felt like i used to you know work out all the time used to grind all the time to get better i always thought that that was on me but i feel like somebody always like halted me at a certain point mm-hmm. but with this i feel like the more i grind I, there's nobody stopping me but me mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like That's that. tough. There's I no like limit. That. Like There's that. no nobody like. Amen. I stop. I stop myself when I don't want to work. If I don't want to do edits all day. Amen. Type like shit, bro. Hear, bro. That's tough. I yeah, like bro. That actually, That's tough. So, so the goal of the pod is that we all gonna get paid for this, bro. So, hey, now you talking about we all gonna get paid for this, bro. But now nah, it's not even. But that's not really the the motivation. Yeah, that's not the motivation. Like, but that's like where it's like <clears throat> niggas just like just chatting. Bro. Yeah, it's just. Ch- I come all the way down here. From West Bubble fucking, I'm doing the episode. Like it's just like it's the vibe. Like you know, niggas don't even know. I I was supposed to have work tomorrow, but it's one a it's one thirty seven a m right now, and I was gonna be here regardless because <laughs> yeah. I like talking to my friend. Y'all niggas, I don't even fuck with them. Do y'all do you enjoy <laughs> the pod? I enjoy the pod. Nine, but you know what's crazy? What happens a lot now was because other people are now seeing the success. Mm-hmm. So the success that I I've, I've been speaking this shit, but I was even before I was like. If you'll put me on the podcast, I go. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> but you know me, you know, you know, but you know, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He'll put me on that motherfucker angle. But I've always been speaking positively on the growth of the podcast forever, yeah. like from forever. For me, like from when we started, I was like, put me on that motherfucker. That motherfucker gonna blow. What that motherfucker do? <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're but it's right. like you know what I'm saying. But it's like now you're starting to see other people, like people from the area, like yo, I seen y'all podcast. I seen you on the podcast. No one reposts it. No one is like saying publicly that they enjoy the podcast. But now it's starting to happen more where niggas are repost uh, yeah. something or from the area. I'm talking about from our town. I know it took like, it took a while, but yeah. it's like we don't really but need people that. People waited till they seen success. I know. And sometimes you have if I repost something that I'm on, be like, yo, keep going, or nigga. Repost that shit too. <laughs> like if you really, really that supportive and you really jacking the podcast, repost that shit too. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like a lot of it too is that nigga. I, uh, I just feel like they just they just didn't see it in the beginning, and now they yeah. see it now. They'd be like, oh, you know, what? this is what y'all was doing the whole time. Because the first thing you hear somebody say, what y'all even talk about? That's the first thing anybody. Says, I know. I really can't. I really can't tell about? them what we talk about. It's different like, every we time. We just we just be talking about shit like. But now everybody wants to be a part of it. Yeah. Because that's so weird. From man. the I, I ain't gonna front from the outside in, it just look like you just be bringing niggas on that just be on the podcast. But it's like a set number a group of people that's on the podcast. Yeah. But um, so they now they say, "Yo, Darius, bro, you gotta put me on the that podcast." Shit's so weird, bro. I'd be so fucking <laughs> mad. Yo, tell man. Darius I'm trying to be on the podcast. I will. I'll tell everybody the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know you. He ain't, I ain't gonna lie. It's the same niggas that he put on the podcast. That's what I'm saying, bro. Well, it's it's people I'm comfortable talking to. You know what I'm right. saying? But it's at the same time, people are only wanna. If it wasn't successful, if it wasn't going up, they wouldn't. They wouldn't want to be. No, they wouldn't be asking. They wouldn't want to. They wouldn't even good, catch bro. niggas' attention. But I feel like it should. You should want to be on the podcast because of the niggas that's on it, not the attention that it's bringing. That's what I'm saying. Niggas want to get a little bit of spotlight. Is why they want to be around it. I think the, I think so most of the time. Yeah. It's all cool, bro. It's what, it's what comes with it, bro. That was cool. I'm not jacking it. I'm not jacking it. The more we it, grow, the more people going to come along. I told people, bro. I told you to ride the wave in the beginning. I didn't believe us, bro. Hey, he spoke into existence. You know hey. what I'm saying? Spoke into existence. Lie, but I got I got another thing to talk about, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, you, that, was you, you, that was a good segment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, do y'all believe in like Mandela effects? Like all that weird shit that be happening? Like Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, I do. Bro, I thought Curious Short had a My tail. memory, 
Because my memory is so selective. Mm-hmm. So I believe in Mandela Effect heavily. Okay. Because like, I can remember some shit that happened when I was three years old, but don't remember what happened yesterday. Type shit, bro. Mm. So I got I got a crazy one. I just seen. It was. So you everybody knows the Jumpman, right? You know the Jumpman logo? Yeah. My, what my is he God. wearing? Shorts. He's wearing sneakers. Uh, Shorts. He's that's wearing, it. I think he's wearing a jersey. He's he's I not think, wearing shorts. Let's get the fuck out of here, bro. He's wearing sweatpants. No, he's not. Look up a picture of the Jumpman logo. That shit is sweatpants, my nigga. That sh- I promise you, I thought it was a pair of shorts. What the fuck? That shit's pants, my nigga. I seen that. that I'm is like, pants. bro, those There's are cuffs at the bottom. Those oh, are s- it is pants. But like, do you remember? It is pants. But like, I be thinking, wasn't sh- it- they had to be more than one? Logo. No, and maybe I'm wilding. Like, like even the picture where he took the picture, he was wearing sweatpants. But like, why would you wear sweatpants in like a? I, I'm thinking like that shit came from like the, the fucking um the dunk contest shit. Like so, you would wear like what you wore at the dunk contest. Nah, I, oh, but I have seen this picture a million times. Really? I the thought actual I, Jumpman picture. I've seen it with the with the sweatpants. Mm-hmm. I thought you wore. I, I thought forgot. you wore shorts. I thought. Yeah, I swear, man. I thought you wore shorts, bro. But no, nah, I but I knew what he was wearing fuck? sneakers, wristband, I think, and uh, t shirt. I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know it was sweats though. That threw me That's off. Not. That's nuts. front. See, I feel like some Mandela effects is just like we think we look at it and assume what it is, mm-hmm. and then when we realize it's not, then that's just like a whole switch. But there's there's some Mandela effects that be fucking my head up, like the shit with them. Um, did not you say with well, Curious George? He did. Yeah, he doesn't have a tail. I thought he had a tail this whole time, bro. What mm. monkey don't got a tail? Curious George. Uh, baboon. Nigga said a baboon. They don't have tails. They don't have asses. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said they got asses. Nigga said baboon got ass, bro. Mm-hmm. But no, nah, oh. I actually see one like they actually do got some ass. Is it tough? Nah, it's disgusting actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna bring that up on the podcast about what niggas are talking about fucking animals. Niggas, you know who you are, buddy. I wasn't there. I was. You know. Mm. Nigga tweaked. That's tough. Hippos is crazy. Yeah, but, nigga tweaked. But bro. remember. I know who it is. Bro, that nigga There's only one dude that was He that. didn't talk in a group chat for a year. <laughs> Came back okay, yeah. and yeah. talked about that shit. Yeah, I feel it. That shit was crazy, bro. Yeah. Yo, bro, I ain't never I heard of I think I still got the screenshot, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, don't even bring, nah, don't even nah, bring that shit around, bro. bro. All right, so... I want to talk about this one again because I remember we was talking about it on the pod before. We was talking about how in the Grand Canyon, they people think that it was a it lead led into Africa, which mm-hmm. I don't believe that. I don't think they think the Grand Canyon. Once you if you keep going through the Grand Canyon, you're gonna end up in Africa. Like that. Pangea, you think so? We were together. I yeah, that. or I jacked that one. One, it was a point in life where it was connected somehow, some way. Like, yeah, that could be like fine. We were like like land was like this. Well, on oh, top of each other, shit, yeah. I don't think the earth is flat. Um, nah, I don't think it's flat either. We were together. Yeah, we were yeah. together once. The earth is flat, bro. This thing is bugged. Anyways. First of all, we in a fucking matrix, right? I all can right. believe that. You like Andrew Tate? Huh? You like Andrew Tate? Andrew Tate like escaped Andrew the Tate. matrix right now. I don't know about that guy sometimes. He escaped the matrix. I like certain. He things escaped things. shit, bro. He's a uh, he's a uh, Neo. <clears throat> <laughs> he's whatever whatever Neo was going through. No, that's what he's going through right now. Nigga that nigga Andrew Tate dodging life. bullets right now, my Only nigga. Only pills he takes is Zannies. No, I like certain I, things that he says. I respect it. You like what? I like certain things that he says. No, certain things he says is real shit. I like that. Yeah. But that's how I like I like tripping. how he when he speaks on holding people accountable. Yeah, like that's what I like. But when he goes too in depth on certain things, I don't like. Free Andrew Tate, yeah. bro. He ain't do that he shit. Tweaked out though. <laughs> what happened? What do they have him against? Human trafficking. <laughs> but they, it just no. I don't. I ain't gonna talk on it before we get canceled. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was saying, what the real, re, what the real thing that I think that might be the case of what they was talking about. Because the reason why they said it was led to Africa is because they found hieroglyphics and like mummies and shit in like the Grand Canyon, like in, in the caves. But really, there's caves in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I'm you, naive as fuck. Like if you go to, there's certain parts that are blocked <laughs> off. But so supposedly, back in the days, like in the 1800s, like the Grand Canyon was this main spot for gold mining, right? Mm-hmm. And it was because supposedly there was so much gold down there that the United States had to cut it off and just make it like a national park and say you can't mine gold because it there there was so much gold down there it was gonna like drop the the value level yeah, of gold, you know. Yeah. So they think that. So there's certain archaeologists that think that in the caves 
is like the lost city of like gold that people used to talk about that there's so much gold down there that if we ever go and like take that gold and bring it up it's gonna like fuck up the whole economy so that's why they cut that off there's just like a lost civilization full of like riches gold and there's like whole history down there that's tough which I think was I think that's more of a better reason I don't think if we would just walk straight into uh, the Grand Canyon we're gonna lead right into Africa I don't know if that's the case well, no it's not possible that's what that's a lot of things right now we're gonna wa- teleport but what if it's not though what if the whole map is wrong that's we've seen it from space we know the continents are not touching nah but the thing is we they ain't could see be, it inside the motherfucking what's the name they could be lying to us there's no possibility have you seen it from space I want you to drive from New Jersey to Africa right now <laughs> have you seen it from space though? no I'm se- no obviously not no one has gone all the way in there so it's only why not what's over there why are we because why are we there's an in ocean there? separating the continents it's a, it really doesn't get more think geological about where, than that. think about where it is I know where the Grand Canyon is it's on the west side of America mm-hmm. below bro it's on the south uh huh Side of West America. Mm-hmm. There's a grid. Let's say we <laughs> here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where's Africa? Over here. Mm-hmm. How the fuck is it touching? Exactly. It's not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> exactly, why the fuck is it even possible? How? It's not possible. So why are the fucking hieroglyphics of African things? Pangea, maybe. Because I don't. Again. If America's here, Africa is over here, but in a circular right, so motion, it could not Africa be leading to Africa more... right now. Yeah, no. But at chance. a certain point in time, in yes. life, it did. Yes, I can agree with that. Yeah, Pangea. That could be fine. I was just saying, with all the the maps and shit, there, there's definitely little islands that, or little like pathways that they don't put on maps just because like that shit could be. They're just trying not to. They're trying to stick to this one certain map, and they don't want to update or some shit like that. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe when there was Pangea, it was because I know, it, like all the content is like a puzzle. Yeah, they fit right into each other. So you Should. never, you never know. Maybe they just came from like freaking Mexico. Those the Inca population, whatever it's called, the Mayans and shit like that. They moved up to the Grand Canyon. That's where they had a little city down there, or some shit like that. But if there's if there's all that gold down there, bro, like just imagine because there's they said there's so much that that shit really just fucks up the whole economy. Because if there's so much of one thing, then that's just not valuable no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basically, just like nickel and shit like that. So, I can, I could, that's the only, I could believe that, but you never know, bro. You never know in life. But, um, what other questions do I got to talk about for today? Oh, I got another question, right? Mm-hmm. Say, zombie apocalypse starts tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's just, everybody we know has been infected, this but us three. Right here. But us three. What is our roles? Follow behind me and I'll lead the way. Dumbass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Follow behind me and I'll lead the way. What is the role? You guys uh, gonna carry the heavy the, stuff? We got the medic. <laughs> You're weird. You're weird as fuck. We got the we got the medic. You know what I'm saying? We got the uh I'm I'm the muscle, the assault. You know, uh what's the what's another one? Are you Can pro- I be well I'm gonna be gathering? Gathering you be the supplies? hunter and gather. Not the hunter. The gatherer. The gatherer, yeah. So I'm gathering berries and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good role. But I'm, all right, so, all right, so look at right, so us here. What do y'all think would be our... I feel like you're going to bring us into too many fights. But I wouldn't, though. I'm so tact. I feel I'm like... so tactical. But when it's time to fight, we're going to fight. You're going to make a rash decision. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, like yo. the woods is the most safe route. It takes a little bit longer, but the woods is the way to go. You know, <laughs> right through the city. <laughs> nah, I'm not dumb. I'm really <laughs> so tactical. It's crazy. Nah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Ever since yo, you, we've been talking on the pie about tech, I've been. I want to. Nah, I want to do. On, we should have a war tactic game. I don't know how. I'm sure there's a game out there where we could like simulate war. I want to see which one of us will fucking win in a simulation of actual. Like, you know, like, like we each like have a. The, we each have an army. Yeah, type shit. Oh, okay. Right, I right. want to do that. Oh, and see who actually has the most tactical. They like, definitely have that as like a PC yeah. war mindset. Yeah. That'd be fucking gas. I'm thinking you're talking about like we each are like a, pe- a person in the war and we have to no, like no, figure no. out. Nah, All right, so we, this is where we, but yeah, we, we talk about character here. What are, do you believe is the positive traits of 
each other that'll help us survive. Oh, there's gonna help me from killing myself, but I might lose my mind out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm more support. I'm more support. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm what is lose my mind. I'm more support. I'm gonna fuck around and be like, man, I'm not feeling it today, bro. I think we should send it. Usually, like, go ahead then, dig it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need that I would right not now. See look at <laughs> Look at He's trying to portray me On like, this shit I don't need that right now bro You just acting fucking weird bro <laughs> <laughs> Look how he trying to Portray me on this hair right now bro <laughs> That's what he would do I promise bro. Yo It's crazy When niggas is going through Something niggas call me And I give niggas Great advice <laughs> When do I ever tell niggas, bro, fuck that shit, my you nigga? Got, you have to be nice sometimes. I've, I've, I've called I'm not nice. I'm not I've nice, called bro. him a couple of times. I'm like, bro, I'm going through it right now. But like, I don't know what to do. He's he being weird. Stop <laughs> I have never did that. <laughs> this guy is weird as fuck. This is what I mean. He's weird, bro. No, I have never not, did that. Bro. I literally give the nigga advice said, every time. I don't tell you then, bro. <laughs> no, if he don't. Okay, I do do that. If he don't want to <laughs> follow it. Well, he start doing, but but I don't know what to tell you, my nigga. Hey, I just told you what to do. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. That's what I, I get. I just want to be convinced, bro. I ain't gonna front. I ain't gonna front. Oh my gosh, bro. But that's, that's you're going away from what my question was. Okay, well, I think Jason would be pretty tactical, like with like terrain and shit like that. I'd be mm. chilling on that. I can find. I, I want to set up a good spot. I nice feel like foundation. he's good with like the like the building shit. Make sure we don't go into bad areas. Mm. Okay. Okay. I think. <laughs> I think Darius would be good at. Um, I think Darius would be super tactical. You know, come up with great ideas no, to keep the, great ideas, the brain going. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, I don't know how well Darius would do with fight. I'm not gonna lie, I don't see you taking down zombies. Taking bro. down zombies, I can't. But not, I could see survival. Darius kicking up, yeah. like bro. I'm not gonna lie. Me and Jay and her parents went to like a hatchet throne. I'm fucking nice. All right, now hear yeah. me out. I'm gonna put you in a hard situation. Put you in a really fucking hard one, right? Let's say it happened right here, right now. We're locked in the room. These two left. Yeah. They're coming through the door. They just broke down the door. Are you gonna be able to kill her? Zombie. She's already dead, technically. <sighs> Are you gonna be able to do it? I don't want her to take offense to it. I might have to, bro. But do I, I have a hatchet? You can't happen. do it, nigga. I don't see it happening. You don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. And that's well, he's trying to of, say you don't got the heart. That's that's the type of fight and flight you need, or the fight you need to have in the survival mode. Like that's like I'm talking about. Like you need to start Damn. killing like, real shit. Like, I don't care if it's a zombie kid. You gotta blick it. Oh no, the kid's care. deed. I'm just making sure. <laughs> 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 Yo, blood. You, you know what? The Last of Us with them little zombie kids. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm killing them, nigga. Some people have heart, you know. I respect Might that. Be hard. Right, so you doing it? What? He ain't alive no more. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, this thing is go out though. <laughs> yeah, no, oh but I think I think I would honestly. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Never mind. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. If you give me a hat, like, I'm, yeah, we gotta go to like a. But I've been prepared to kill a lot of people. Like, I'm not lying. Like, dead serious in my head. Like, if I had to do, it, I would have to. Bro, I I think I'm, I think I'll be ready. Um, if the time comes, I'm ready, bro. Like yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I'm I'm a weird nigga, bro. I, like this whole time, I coming back from Florida, this, I came back by myself. Mm. So this is the first time I ever been on a plane by myself. So this whole time, this is eighty years old, bro. Like <laughs> le- ever, bro. So like this whole like the whole week coming up, I'm thinking I'm seeing like that. I seen a I seen a post on Instagram about the the L.A. Clippers almost crashing. You mm. seen that shit? They got their no. the plane got struck by lightning. Yeah, oh. yeah. But that was like a month ago. So I'm like, why the fuck is this? Like they posting this shit now. Yeah. Is this a sign that I'm about to go down? Mm. So like I'm thinking that the whole time. Then I, my Uber driver, that nigga has a pilot hat on. That nigga talk about he work on plane engines. I'm like, nah, God, is this a sign like my engine gonna fail or some shit? Mm. So in the, the whole time I'm in the plane, I'm like, yo, I gotta prepare. This shit go down. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Mm. Die? No, 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 yeah, no, no. Yeah, I'm what not, the fuck else I'm, are you gonna do? I'm going to live, bro. No, the fuck you're not. I'm gonna live. You're saying this already, it happen. depends. If the plane split in half, I might be done. But I was thinking about that scenario too. Even like, if it didn't, it's all up to the pilot whether you live or die. If he folds, he folds. No, I'm gonna live though. Think about it. I'm gonna either somebody gonna brace my fall or I'm gonna, gonna jump protect. at the last second. I was thinking about that. If we're going to the ocean, it doesn't work. Well, you just gotta throw, just throw something down. Just go like throw something before you hit the water. That's not how that kind so, of works. Wait, 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 I got a question for you. <laughs> so, yes. so survival. Mm-hmm. You don't trust me when it comes to survival time. No, bro. I trust you. I, I think do. you will make rash decisions. I have very, I have very full confidence that if I if it's coming to plan making, I want you to make the plan without mm-hmm. a doubt in my mind. Don't want this nigga. I don't want myself making a plan. I'm not, gonna <laughs> think it I'm not gonna think it through. But I feel like some of them might be rash. Like I'm talking about if we're we're going to a store, we need to scavenge for some food. We want some real like canned food or whatever. Mm-hmm. Is a zombie coming? I feel like you might just do something rash. You might just 
and now more and then zombies more, start coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's rash like that's that. true. That's true. Yeah. That's kind of true. I use these. I feel like that should go get us killed too. Get a gun, my nigga. I don't need it. Don't need <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the rash. <laughs> I don't really need the gun. Look, like, usually there's an axe right there. Goes, mm, I don't need it though. And now you're a zombie. Now I gotta kill you. How fuck am I killing a six foot zombie? I got a hatchet, bro. I, we gotta go. To, I throw that. I throw that bitch like a baseball. I gotta show Jay the video of that shit, bro. I gotta show you the video of that shit. I, I'm a, I'm a top shot though. You know what I'm saying? I hope, bro. I oh, move over, guys. Oh, my fault. I'm a top shot though. You know what I'm saying? Every everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying. I, I hope, want to come, bro. but hmm. I I think I just I just gotta worry about Jason's mental. Yeah, you know no, that's what that's, we that's the only thing. As man. long as Jason's, oh, Jason's with good his... days, I think he 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 gonna be your right hand man. Like you know, what I'm saying coming up with good operatives. You know, what I'm saying he's he's patrolling the everything. Mm-hmm. He's stepping on everything. Any zombie, whoosh, 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 like like everybody gonna, getting shot. I feel like once we're in there for a minute, he gonna be like, "Yo, when's this shit gonna end?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> one day we gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up. Look to my right, nigga. Jason crying and shit." <laughs> And then that's like, nigga, you, you crying? What the fuck are you crying for, bro? This nigga tired of killing zombies. But I don't shit. know if I can do this shit no more, yeah. bro. It's, it's yeah, like, just becoming up. too much. Like, I just, like, I had to kill this person in my family, and I really love them. And just, I don't think I can do this. Dude. That's why like, I'm here, bro. I'm here for moral support. I'd focus on building civilization, bro. I'd want to, I don't know, because I've seen The Walking Dead, and every single time they build a group, something happens. But, like, Mm, I that's feel like true. But that's part, a safe that's, haven is that's for uh for TV, bro. Yeah. If I, if I build a safe haven, no new friends. Nope. Unless it's a baddie. A baddie could come in. <laughs> this nigga sick, Hell bro. No. A baddie could come Hell in, bro. No. No, bro. I that's wouldn't not. have no kids during that time though. I was about to say, I thought you was gonna repop. That's, that's such how you're a gonna li- the, That's such a liability. Yeah, bro. it's uh, such a liability. A pregnant woman is a liability, bro. Yeah, that's true. Damn, that's crazy. I about to say some other shit. I was about to be crazy, bro. <laughs> but I think we straight though. How long do you think we're going to survive, though? Honestly. We're going to survive as long as we want to survive. As long as you, yeah. I'm saying, as I long think, as I, I think this be alive, a, I'll be alive. This is a good three. I think this is a good th- good unit right here. I, I think, think so, too. I think so, too. All right. I got, I got one more question, and then we can play the game, bro. So, which... 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 which Damn. Which 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 DJ D-Rex, bro. Which... Yo, out. Which world would you rather live in? A world where men and women switch roles, as in men get pregnant and have periods, or where we are at the bottom of society, as in like the women are on top and we're just the slaves. What kind of slaves? I think I'd rather have a period, bro. No, nah, like we're like yeah, slave slaves. Like we do all the work. Bro, because like if you no, think about it, like think about how it was back in like the, the, the witch trial days or whatever. Men were strictly on top. Women were just, you got to do what we fucking tell you to do, right? Yeah. Imagine that in reverse. Now a woman's like, fuck me. <laughs> I don't want to get raped. It's, it's as simple as that. Like, I just wouldn't want that to happen, bro. I don't want to, like, I just don't want to, like, at that point, I'm a slave. Like, I'm really just a slave. I go for it. It's crazy. They tell me, fuck me now, bro. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's fucking horny, right? This fucking horny, hey, right? they, no, hey, bro. Yeah. It's like, yo, I want, like, if they say it to me too, no. too, you know what I mean, bro, I might have to give bro, it to him. Go bro. ahead, read up on the Salem Witch Trial, see how women no, really treated it, and I tell watched me the movie and all that. Okay, so would you want to be treated like that, bro? I, I would not want to be told to wash and clean to do that. That's but, the problem. But uh, <laughs> that's the beating the shit out of him. <laughs> but at the, dang, I want to say something. I can't say it, bro. <laughs> We're smart man. <laughs> I always say something I can't say it, but um, would you take the periods or you would you be a slave? I'm not good, take, bro. I mean, how is the periods working? Like, is it was exactly. it coming out my ass or my penis? The peen. Oof. Uh, and you can get pregnant, so you got to do. Oof. Pregnancy is crazy. I get pregnant because how do I? How does the baby come out? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, but I mean, I'm getting C-section. It hurts when I poop. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Um, nah, I might take the, the other shit. The slave? Yeah. Bugged. Damn. Because. Bugged. Hey, look, look, look. No. If we think about Salem witch trials, yes. roles reversed, right? Yes. That means, like, that time period, yes. right? That means the women are going to do what women are supposed to do, uh-huh. and men are going to do what men are supposed to do. Mm-hmm. So, we're just being told to do what we're supposed to do. Okay. So. But. 
But if she tell me, yo, get in here and bust my ass, I might have to get in there and bust her ass. That's all I'm worried about. We're not talking about your wife. I'm talking about the queen, whoever. This is slavery. Like, it's just like, we're, we're at the bottom of the barrel. Butt. Like we well, she's like, give shit. me your butt. Then what? Give my butt? It's, yeah. it's deed. Did you you take can't my... say that. That's just what was happening back then. No, because it's you know different. What happening? That's not the way that they was getting active down there. I promise you. They, they was were, not. I guarantee but, but, but I'm talking about, there is unsaturated. I'm talking about men and women were not doing that. So why would it change now? They might get crazy with power. <laughs> <laughs> they might get crazy I'm with power. I'm not jacking it. It's just roles reversed. Think about the prohibition era. Came no, I'm home. talking about we as slaves of society. Uh, imagine, We're slaves imagine of society. So basically home, slavery. Imagine your wife coming home with a flask going, <laughs> beat the fuck out you. For what? <laughs> just us. You, you can't even do that back, bro. Is it really going to hurt? Yeah, All right, like, bro. Some oh, hey, we're talking no, about, let me I change the subject for this. Niggas going to go, 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 go <laughs> stupid. All right, last thing on the subject, yeah. last thing in the pod, bro. Yo, bro. Before you but, get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before you get canceled, yo. Yo, bro. I'm going to so, say it when we finish, bro. So we got a new game to play, fellas. It's called <laughs> Categories. Have you ever heard of the game Categories, Jason? Uh, Maybe. You might have heard. You might have seen it. I seen. I got it from Sidemen. Mm. On a, from the UK, so basically, I know, I know are, but. so basically, I'm gonna give you a category, right? <laughs> say I say, I'm gonna ask you, the category category is uh sneakers, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna be like, how many how many shoe brands can you name in 30 seconds? If you say six, he could either say nah, that's bullshit. If he says that's bullshit, you gotta name six, but it's, he can he can up you. Like he said, nah, I can name seven. Okay, and then you gotta keep going back and forth, going back and forth. But like, Fuck. if you can't like <laughs> say a bad opponent, bro. <laughs> say you know too much. I know. <laughs> but say so you get a point if you beat the allegations, <laughs> basically. Okay. And then if if he doesn't, then you get the point. Yeah. All right. So the first category is food. So how many fruits can you name in thirty seconds? Fruits. Yeah. Oh, do I do I have a lot of time to decide? No, you can you can confidently. I'll Off the top say of your head. Six right now. Six? Yes. How many fruits can you name in 30 seconds? No, uh, I'll give you like, I'll give you six, seven. I'll say seven. I, but because he upped me, he gets the point if I don't. No, I'm like, you can keep going. Like, if if you can't go higher than seven, then you'd be like, all right, let me see you do it. Can I go higher than seven? Can you go higher than seven? Yeah. He's, he's taking yeah, his cards in his head. I what, can. What number can you do? Eight. You, Jay? He, let me see. You, let me see. All, All right. Ready, ready, Jason? Mm -hmm. All right, you, Jay. Count, make sure you count the, the fruity names. You got 30 seconds. Ready, mm -hmm. set, go. Apple, banana, orange, watermelon, blueberry, blackberry, cranberry. Oh, shit. Pear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> banana fruit? Banana's yeah. a fruit. Banana's a fruit. Banana's a fruit. All right, Jason got one point. I think he's talking about six. I can name like ten. No, I can name like ten. I but I didn't. I didn't want to get stumped. Oh, okay, okay. better safe than sorry. Like that, nigga. We go all out. Mm. All right, next category. Um, pop culture. Oh, how many artists can you name in thirty seconds, UJ? I can name a lot. Like pop, like pop artists. Anybody, any music genre. Oh, uh, give me a number. A 30. 30? Yeah. Nah. In 30 and 30 seconds? No, no, no I'm capping. I'm capping. Cap, cap. <laughs> yeah, I can say 20. 20? Yeah. Jason, well, 20. I don't. I can't do more, so I'm just going to call bullshit. All right. All right. You ready? All right, Jason. Mm-hmm. Get the counter ready. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Michael Jackson, Usher, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, uh, 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 R-Truth. <laughs> 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 She's laughing, laughing, I'm laughing, not I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I'm laughing. Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, Rihanna, uh, uh, Babyface, uh, uh, Babyface Ray, uh, Drake, uh, 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 Nicki Minaj, fucking uh, Gutta Gutta, fucking uh, um, 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 Lil Twist, Lil Chucky, uh, um, um, Beanie Siegel, and how many I got left? Beanie Siegel, three, fucking. You have three left. Fuck. 
Oh, yeah, shit. 17, bro. I didn't know how many. I, it's because I laughed, bro. <laughs> I think you said hard truth. Hard <laughs> <laughs> truth was crazy. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, JC got two points. All right, so now, laugh, bro. next category. <laughs> so, next category is colors. How many colors can you name in 30 seconds? There's an infinite amount, so I'm going to say confidently 11. 11? Yeah. yeah. Just keep it. No, he could definitely could do that. He could definitely do it. But I could definitely do like 13. 14. Go ahead. All right. Ready? <sighs> Three, two, one. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, burgundy, black, white, cyan. Now he's tweaking up. Violet. <laughs> sky blue, jet black. I mean, that's already 14. There you go. Beige. Oh, this nigga nice. He's cooking me. He's cooking me. He's cooking me. Watch him come right, back. All right, come back. That's 3-0. Three, 2-0. Three zero. Zero. Nah, he got, he got three. <laughs> all right, UJ. So, we're going. So, next category is video games. How many video games can you name in 30 seconds? Um, 17. 17? Yeah. Jason, how many video games can I'm you I'm going to call VS. He ain't a gamer for real. <laughs> All right, you That's a lot in 30 seconds is why I'm saying VS. You ready? Watch this. Three, two, one, go. NBA 2K1, NBA 2K3, two, <laughs> NBA 2K3, NBA 2K4, NBA 2K5, NBA 2K6, NBA 2K7, NBA 2K8, NBA 2K9, NBA 2K11, NBA 2K13, NBA 2K12, NBA 2K14, 15, NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17, Oh, uh, yes. This thing is weird. This thing is weird. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He almost did make it, too. 3-1, three, 3-1. One, three, one. All right. Fuck niggas. That was, that was good cheese. Though. That was good cheese. We're yeah. going back to food now. I'm really calm. <laughs> no, actually, we're going to fast food. Jason, how many fast food places can you name in 30 seconds? Seven. Seven? UJ, how many can you name? Eight. Eight? You gonna up it? Nine. Ten. BS. Ready? He be eating. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, Chick Fil A, McDonald's, Wendy's, Five Guys, uh, uh, Dave's Hot Chicken, uh, um, Chipotle, uh, um, the, the, what the fuck, the, 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 the fuck, fuck, uh, Checkers, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, um, uh, uh, uh Fridays. Uh, fucking. Now Fridays not fast. That's food. a restaurant. That's a restaurant. It's fucking goddamn. Fuck. You just got it today, Three, bro. You just got two. it today, bro. You just got it today, bro. Uh, Wendy's. Fuck. Uh, damn, you got nine, bro. Huh? Yeah, damn, nine. damn, 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 damn. All I right. I just like, I froze up when I got oh, to the end. Is it? I froze up when I got to the end. That's, that's how it be, bro. So, 4-1, Jason. All right. This could win. And we're going to game to five, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, next one, we're doing pop culture again. Jason, how many TV shows can you name in 30 seconds? Confidently. Anime or TV? T- anything. TV. A show. Set it off high 15. What? 15. Oh, I think you said 515. Mm-hmm. No. You don't think so? No. All right. Let's think about names. It's going to be hell anime. Ready? Mm-hmm. Three. TV shows. Two. Animes. Okay. I'll try. One. That. Go. Ridiculousness. Robin Big. That 70s show. That 90s show. Money Heist. Uh, the Mindy Project. Uh, fuck. This is actually hard. Uh, Team Rocket, SpongeBob, uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Zoe 101, Hannah Montana, oh, fuck Dexter's Laboratory, uh, Rugrats. Oh shit, I'm blanking. 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 Two, one. <laughs> I blanked the motherfucker. Damn it. All right, so scores four two. You you can still come back. So. Back to pop culture. Oh, next category is movies. How many movies can you name in 30 seconds? About 11. 11? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm not joking. No. All right. Oh, move or something, UJ? My bad. Oh. So, 11. You ready, UJ? No, I'm not. Three, <laughs> you said, two, right, look, look. one, go. Uh, We got Space Jam 1, Space Jam 2, uh, Menace to Society, uh, Boys in the Hood, uh, Michael Jackson Thriller, the movie, Michael Jackson Experience. Um, no, that's, is that a video game? That might be a video game. No, uh, 
No, it's a movie. It's a movie. Yeah. I'm tweaking right now. Um, yeah. fuck. Uh, dang, I just watched Batman, Bad Blood, Batman. Uh, Year One. You got Batman, seven, bro. <laughs> JC, you can win up there, or you want to win nah, going bro, you out? Gotta bro. Win, bro. No, I, I can win one. All right, all right. Yeah. So last... that was like twenty seconds. That nigga cheated. Yeah, that was... I didn't feel thirty, but that was like... thirty. That shit went by hella fast. This because this nigga was talking he was. in the middle. Yeah. So the Jackson experience. <laughs> this could be the last one. Mm-hmm. So next category is animals. How many animals can you name in thirty seconds? Nine. Nine. That's a really low number, but that's yeah, a low man. number. Give me like, give me like twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Nah, fourteen. BS. Nah, go up it. You scared? Oh, my fault. Fifteen. All right, go ahead. All right, but all right, ready? Three. Nah, uh, Sixteen. Seventeen. Do twenty, then, nigga. <laughs> okay. Twenty. Right, yeah. yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Dog, cat, mouse, hamster, rabbit, horse, eagle, hawk, blue jay, That'd be tough polar bear, grizzly bear, black bear, got him, moose, cantaloupe, antelope, giraffe, hippo, shark, um, clownfish, octopus. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, he tweet. He tweet. He tweet. He tweet. Oh, shit. That was not bad, bro. Shout out to Jason, bro. Winning, winning new game of categories. I like this game. I seen one of my uh, shout out my nigga Alex, bro. One of my guys I work at with work. He was my like, first you know, what? L on the show. You yeah. said you felt like he was on the Ellen show. Yeah, it's my first. L. It's a W L. Hey, I'm bro. smart. I, I fried Fritz too. Don't worry. Nah, Fritz was tweaking. We rematch. Though. I bet y'all win. I'd love to. Next episode. Next episode. <laughs> next episode. But I'm gonna try hard. You guys want? Any, you guys got anything else to say to the people before we uh, leave, bro? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, 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 keep being y'all though. We, you know, we going up. You know what I'm saying? 20, going up day by day. Y'all don't want to see what's going on in 2025. Like, we might even going to be recording here in 2025. Because the aliens are taking over. I guarantee that. So, you know, we uh, we going to keep going up. You know, stay blessed. You know what I'm saying? Type shit, bro. I want y'all to keep praying to who y'all praying to and, you know, pray for better days. You know what I'm saying? Right, pray, pray to, to you, J, bro. Pray for better days. Hey, bro, pray to you, J, at night, bro. Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to y'all for tuning in for another episode of No Records Podcast. Episode number is 80. New merch coming if y'all want to see the peep the hoodies. Shut his guys. Hoodies coming soon, bro. I told you you got that good shit, nigga. And yeah, uh, you got anything to say, Jason? You got anything you want to say? Oh, no. Just keep blowing uh, keep blowing them up. You guys are doing great. Honestly, be blessed. Stay safe. Do your thing. Thank you. You know, going up day by day. We different than regular, no regular, man. Gangsta. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.